Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, I found some, you know, really cool, really cool business cards and really creative people here in Houston because I simply went to Eventbrite the day before our weekly meeting here in Houston and I found some networking events, all different type of networking events. And of course, you know, I attended them, you know, sharply dressed, you know, uh, and, you know, got a few people to come to the weekly meeting and we've got an event coming up tomorrow, Super Saturday, but Donald Bradley will be there. Let me just mute the lines. In fact, I'm not gonna mute the lines, I'm gonna go straight into Q&A, guys. So everybody's line is unmuted. Uh, please feel free, you know, uh, just shout out. Yeah, first person, first come, first serve. Let's get some Planet Marketing related questions. Um, yeah, let's go. Who is up? No questions at all. All right, everybody is doing too well in their business. I got one question. Uh, Catherine says, We'd we'll love to hear your story first. Oh, great. Um, Catherine has a question. She says, would love to hear your story first, how you got into the business. Wow. Well, um, you know, I was working with Mr. Bradley, Donald Bradley, in a previous opportunity, um, a similar travel company. Um, how I first got into the industry? I mean, let me take you all the way back to the beginning. Um, I was, I think I must have been on my way back from university. Let me just mute the lines for now. Sorry guys, just mute the line to mute all. If you want to unmute yourself, you can, so you can um, ask a question. But yeah, hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, I was on my way from university back to my mum's house. I got a call from Toby and John, and they were with a good friend of, of ours. And he had first introduced them to a health and wellness network marketing company. That was the first time, you know, we got prospected. Toby and John were with him in the living room and he said, oh my days, you've got to try this drink. It's healthy, you know, we get paid for sharing it. We're going to be rich, we're going to get Lamborghinis. And he just was excited. He was, uh, he had no knowledge, but he was just excited and pumped up and he prospected my brothers. And they called me straight away and said, yo, David, give us your credit card. Um, number, we're going to sign up to this business, we're going to be rich, we're going to get Lamborghinis, like we found a way to get rich. Um, <laughs> you see, at the time, I think two days before, maybe a week before, me and Toby, uh, we went to a Rich Dad Poor Dad seminar. We were looking, we were looking for something or we were open-minded to the idea that we could become wealthy, we could start a business, we could do something different other than the norm of, you know, going to school, good education, good job. So that's why you always want to keep prospecting any and everybody because some people are looking. They just maybe don't find you because you didn't share. Some people look at me, Toby, were looking for something. Went to Rich Dad Poor Dad seminar. At the end of this one hour or two hour presentation, they said, you know, it's 2,000 pounds. Of course, me and Toby didn't have 2,000 pounds, so we left. Still looking, still hungry, not satisfied at having a solution. To change our life. We're all pumped up because it motivates us to know that there's something out there called business that you can do to achieve wealth, but we couldn't afford a £2,000 for the property seminar. So a few days later, you know, like I said, they were prospected. They were just sold. I know the friend that prospected them didn't have a skill set in explaining the business in detail. He just would have maybe played a video for them and he was crazy excited. Because I've never heard my brothers more excited when they call me, David, give us your card. We found an amazing thing. We're going to be rich. We're going to get like bikinis. You know, I remember it like it was yesterday. We were very young, very clueless when it came to business. And guess what I did? I gave them my credit card. I didn't see no video. I didn't see no compensation plan. I didn't know what the product was. I heard my brothers damn excited. So, you know, if you're struggling and talking to friends and family, sometimes, you know, it's the friends and family who are too skeptical or too close-minded. Sometimes you're not getting their attention. 
because the way I talk about this business, you know, is high level. I'm very excited. And that is the secret. There's nothing wrong with um, not knowing the comp plan. There's nothing wrong with not knowing the business. There's nothing wrong with not knowing how to spell planet marketing. So long you're excited and you can get them the information from someone who knows. You're not supposed to understand the business straight away because you're brand new. Who would? And it would be silly if you had to. You don't need to know everything about planet marketing. You just need to know the mobile number, the landline number, the WhatsApp, the messenger or the Facebook or the Instagram name of somebody who does. And you need to have some credit or data to call them. That's it. That's all you need. You don't need to know the, the, the CEO's name. You don't need to know how much we earn. You don't need to know how much travel commissions we get when we book a trip. You just need to know the number of someone who does. And all my brothers were, was damn excited. They called me and my fr the fr our, our mutual friend signed up the three De Costa brothers who were broke because we found the money because we were hungry, hungry enough for something that we believed in because somebody had the excitement to say, you guys need to get into this business right now. Somebody in this, you guys might look at us as directors and your leaders and, you know, big fish, you know, you know, we've built two organizations, whatever, a million dollars. We were signed up like that by one one-on-one -on -one event. You know, David Acosta, freestyle director, was signed up over the phone without seeing any video webinar, nothing. Just like that because of excitement. So when you are prospecting people, if your excitement is high level, you just don't know who you're prospecting. My friend didn't know, um, our friend didn't know that, you know, he was prospecting, you know, maybe the only three brothers in network marketing history that will soon be six-figure income earners, all of us, and then seven-figure income earners. Never happened before, all in the same company as brothers. You know, um, at the time, we were not big fish. At the time, we were not, you know, strong in business or hungry or we were just, sorry, we were hungry, but we weren't, you know, good at business. We were very new. So that's how I first got into the industry of network marketing. It was a health and wellness company. Um, but then you've got to find the company that's right for you. And this is what I talk to people about. You know, some people said, oh, I've tried that before. I didn't make any money. I've tried that before. I've already done that. It didn't work for me. It didn't work for us. We invested thousands of pounds. I went to the company convention with no money. I spent $4,000 on that company convention. Um, I brought all the products back. I had an amazing time in Vegas. I saw some of the greats. Gary Gavanachuk, Bob Proctor, uh, Eric Thomas. Um, Darren Hardy, uh, you know, I saw these, Eric Worry, I saw these guys on stage at our company convention. This company was 10 years old, and been going for a very long time, so they've made so much money, they could afford to pay all these superstars to come and speak. And it was just, wow, I was in love. I was a groupie. I was chasing the top income in the toilet. There's a guy, you know, by the name of, you know, uh, Brad Alcazan, and a guy called Alex Morton, you know, and these are people that I idolized, and I was chasing them into the toilet to take a selfie. I was a network marketing groupie. I just was so in love with the fact that I was rubbing shoulders with these people here in Vegas at our company convention. I spent all this money and I made back 40 pounds. I invested 4,000 pounds into the business and I made back probably 40 pounds. So you could say David failed. David failed in network marketing. No, David learned. You win and you learn. You don't lose in network marketing because if you get into a network marketing company and you stay plugged in, you're going to learn things that can change your life. And some of the principles I learned from that company over five years ago is what I'm talking about today. That's where I learned about Eric Poirier. That's where I learned about GoPro. And those basic principles of GoPro, the fact that I can regurgitate the line from GoPro um, just like that off the top of my head. You know, do you feel restless? Do you feel there's a better way? You know, I can just say it like that because I ate GoPro. I ate personal development. I knew you're not getting any sound. Can you guys hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear me. Someone's not getting any sound. Uh, I think everyone can hear me. So you'll have to log out, log back on um, if you haven't got any sound or play your settings. Um, yeah, so um, I ate GoPro like it was anything, you know, but it wasn't the right company for me. And these are some of the reasons. Health and wellness is a great concept. And for me, everybody wants to be healthy. But people want to travel more than they want to be healthy because people spend more money on their travel than they, than they do on their health. So for me personally, you know, I wouldn't go for a business in health and wellness, no matter how passionate I am about health and wellness. I don't feel it's the best business for the average person to pay their bills unless you're surrounded by tons of people who have a six-pack who are willing to pay for the right food. 
I have a bit of a of a belly, so you know I do like to eat. You know, health and wellness wasn't the thing that attracted me. But when I found travel, then I found uh, Donald Bradley and I found a mentor. You need to find a good mentor, someone who's done it and cares enough about you to to travel to wherever you are. And he travelled from Atlanta to London and co and coach, trained, developed me and my team to become very successful. So, great question. That's how I got into network marketing um, through you know through a friend prospecting my brothers who prospected me and I was in my brother's downline you know this business and we you know we we fell in love we fell madly in love and that's why you are you in network marketing or is network marketing in you do you bleed it do you do you believe in it you know and we really did we were so in love with you know network marketing that um you no know, you couldn't even till today you know we have our ups and downs just not always you know uh, an easy fin, you know, sometimes it's very tough. Sometimes it can interfere and affect your personal life, your family life, you know, you can get objection, rejection, you know, from people that you really care about. You know, it's not always easy, but it is so worth it. So, uh, yeah, thank you, uh, Catherine. Great question. Um, how do you deal with it when people ghost you? Great question. That's from Suja. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Um, we've got a lot of questions. I'm going to try to go through these a bit more quicker. Uh, let me just make sure my phone is charged. I need to go to the dry cleaners. Let me put my phone on. Let me see if I can do that. All right, guys. How do you deal with it when people ghost you? Now, I'm very old, so I don't know if that's slang. Um, a ghost, I'm guessing you mean people don't get in touch with you anymore. Um, Donald Bradley always says this. Oh, I can't get my friend on the phone. That's not your friend. I can't get hold of my friend. That's not your friend. <laughs> you know, a real genuine friend, you know, you should be able to get them on the phone. There may be an associate. Now, you share the business with somebody and they ghost you. Um, it's normal. And don't feel down about it. You know, their loss. You have to really, you know, be in love with your company, your product. You know that you're offering them something that can change their life. The reason why you know it's life-changing because we've had at least, you know, five people be able to quit their jobs or go part-time at their jobs through this business and have, you know, real-time financial freedom. So it's good. It's a good business. It's, it's real. It's tangible. You know, we've seen people here in this country and in the UK change their life. So it's a good thing you're sharing. So if they ghost you, don't feel bad or upset. Feel sorry for them. And you should have so many people on your list or your active candidate list, which means you're constantly adding new people to prospect that when one person ghosts you, it doesn't mean too much to you or you're not going to cry about it. Think about this concept. You know, um, uh, Drake is performing at Wireless Festival. Drake is performing at Wireless Festival. Is it possible that one or two of the, you know, of the... Um, uh, the people in the audience, the crowd, leave the arena for whatever reason and they you know, totally leave. Does Drake know? Does Drake notice? Does Beyonce, does she notice when somebody leaves the auditorium? No, because there's so many other hundreds and thousands of people that they can never know. Drake performing is not going to be like, yeah. um, what's one of the songs? <laughs> um, um, I don't know, Drake's song. Um, Turn it old two into the old feed. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? No, it's not going to be like that, right? No, it's just going to keep going because he doesn't see the one or two people that leave to go to the bathroom, to go wherever, because there's so many people. So when you've got so many people on your list, you're not going to feel or see or be affected when somebody ignores you, ghosts you, or says, too good to be true, scam pyramid. Whatever negative response you get, it's not going to hurt you when you've got 10 people who are giving you a date, eight people who are really excited, seven people are getting back with their partners, two people who, you know, just want to check a second webinar. You know, you're excited about these positive responses. You're not going to care so much about the one negative response. I get quite a few negative responses, but I've got so many people joining, so many joining dates that I'm so excited about this 50, 50, 50 dollars. I'm not thinking about the person who's missing out for themselves. It's a good question, but... You're going to be affected when people ghost you if that's the only person you're speaking to. And, and don't, you know, don't worry about it. You know, just keep going. You're looking for three, five people. I can tell you right now, my team is over 2,000 people. And all of that 2,000 people really comes from about three, four people. I'll say four people. John, Toby, Andre, Arisha. It's like an infinity gauntlet. I feel like Thanos. Um, you know, John, Toby, Andre, Arisha. Represent roughly 2,000 people. So that person who's ghosting you, find four of the right people and you can totally change your life. Four or five, 
up to nine of the right people, you can change your life. So um, uh, this is from Ushav Ravi. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. I'm very bad with names. Um, are most of your prospects online, offline or online? And how are you finding them? Great question. Um, are most of my prospects offline or online? And how are you finding them? Both. You want to do both. It's very important. Why is everyone laughing? Yeah, that's a funny joke. Let's see. Let's see what this. Okay. Um, let me plug in my laptop. Sorry, guys. Bear with me. So, yes, you want both. You want to have prospects that you're finding online and you want to have prospects that you're finding offline. Online and offline, both are very important. You know, online, you know, you've got the whole world as your oyster. You've got the internet. You've got, you know, thousands and millions of people around the world. Online is the reason why I was able to get, you know, all of these business cards. It's a bit of both. I met them physically offline. I shook their hand. I got a business card. I gave them my business card. But I found them first online on Eventbrite. Eventbrite is online. The meeting I, I met them at was offline. So online helps you find thousands of people, helps you reach people, helps you work in your sleep. You know, you've got, um, you know, maybe groups or videos and things that are out there, you know, prospecting people, even when you're sleeping. So it's great to have online, but offline is the relationship. And overall, if you can only choose one, offline is the best way, you know, to build a network marketing business. And I can show you that and I can speak from examples um, and we've got some new people in the business. We've got some people moving fast, people moving slow, people building online and offline, people doing just online, just offline, people doing both. I've got people in my organization, in my 2,000 people, who haven't made a penny, but have been in this business for three and a half years. Haven't made a penny, but they're in the business and they're in love with this business. And the fact of, the, 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 the even remote thinking of quitting this business just doesn't even enter their head. It just doesn't even enter their head at all. Just being on credit hold is like a sin. They're in love with the relationships. They're in love with what they have. They're in love with the product. They're in love with the community, the love, the, the traveling around the world, having the friendships on Friday meetings, but they haven't made a penny. Now, if that person had just come into the business from someone sending them a video link online and then signing them up online, never meeting them, they've never seen any physical event, they've just been at their house, you know, once in a while jumping on some videos and webinars, I don't think somebody would stay in a business paying $60 or 40, you know, six pounds every month for three years. I'm going to do the maths on that quickly, just to let you know the sort of investment some people are making without maybe making any money back. They're not making any money, not because, you know, the business is bad. You know, you know they, ch they chose to maybe take it slower or they, you know, it's not really the thing that they're really looking for. You know, they might be happy with this community. So if we say 46 pounds, times uh, 12, 46 pounds times 12 months, yeah, 552 pounds. So, you know, three years, you know, uh, we're, we're looking at, you know, roughly 1,600, 1,700 pounds, monthly fees, $2,000 of monthly fees, you know, but haven't made a penny back, relationships. Think about the concept of the most amazing partner you could ever have. The person that you love the most, maybe it's a celebrity or the person you're currently with right now or whoever it is that you feel is the most amazing person in the world that you'd want to date, marry, etc. cetera. Um, imagine that relationship. Imagine you're never able to see them physically. You can only talk to them on WhatsApp. You can only talk to them on Messenger. You can never see, touch, smell them ever again. Would that be the relationship that you want? You know, let's say... You know, that, that, that wouldn't be great, right? So relationships is very important in network marketing. It's a relationship business. So I find my prospects online and offline. If I bump into someone at the shop, when I'm here in the States, I'm going to talk to people. I'm going to let them hear my accent. I'm going to start a conversation. You know, uh, if I'm in the UK, I'm going to talk to people. I'm going to listen out when I'm on the bus and someone's talking about anything to do with travel or struggling financially. I'm always alert. I have a five feet rule. If you're within five feet from me, I'm going to, you know, um, talk to you about my business. For those of you who use Uber, you know, and uh, in the USA, for those of you that use Uber or Lyft, if I was to show you my mobile phone right now, I'm going to type in, um, I'm going to type in uh, Uber and you're going to see something. Uber. And I'm going to show you, instantly found 10 contacts 
on my mobile phone, when I type in the word Uber, you see all of these Uber prospect, Uber prospect, Uber prospect. 10 people just like that. And if I type in Lyft, which is another company similar to Uber here in the U U U US, I've got about 20. When I get into Uber, and for you guys, it's a training tip, you get into Uber, you know, if you talk too much, wait till the last five minutes of the journey. Um, I don't know if Pascalina's on the line. I was, this is something I was saying to one of my business partners in the States. Um, if you find yourself talking too much, you know, normally, you know, you share the business too much, wait till the last uh, five minutes of the journey and then talk about your business. So you can't do no damage. You can't talk for more than five minutes or even four minutes, you know, and tell them, you know, you're doing Uber. Most of the places you're dropping people off to is the airport and hotels. Would you say that's correct? And they're going to say, yeah, most of me, I drop people to airports and hotels. Well, you're dropping people to the travel industry, but you're not making no money from it. Imagine having some business cards in the car with you that, you know, after you drop someone off to the airport, you say, oh, by the way, where are you flying to? Flying to Cincinnati? You're flying to London? Okay, great. Well, you know, next time you're flying, it sounds like you travel a bit, you know, go to my website and see if you, you know, see if you can find, you know, a good deal. Um, I see, I see Aaron there. <laughs> Shout out to Cincinnati. <laughs> Team Cincinnati. We've got an amazing event coming up, you know, on the first in, in, in Ohio, Cincinnati. So I'll be out there to see you and the, and the guys, Aaron. But yeah, thanks for jumping on the call. Um, but yeah, no, so next time you're flying, you're taking a client to the airport or to a hotel, give them a card and say, look, next time you're traveling to this hotel or coming to a, uh, the airport, you know, check out my prices. I own a travel business. I might be able to help you with your next trip. Or, you know, if you travel a lot, you know, you should start your own travel business. You know, get in touch. Very simple ways to talk to people around me. So I find people online and offline. And if I find someone online, as quick as possible, I want to turn it offline. Aaron was found online. Aaron is in Cincinnati. Now, um, if I even do a share screen, you will see. Let me just make sure my... Um, there we go. Let me see if I can do this. All right. So Aaron, you'll see this straight away. I'm going to do a quick share screen. So Aaron was found online in this business. Now I know I'm going to be able to help Aaron alongside our business partners make a lot of money. Now, if you can see this, I'm designing the flyer. It's not done yet, but that's Aaron right there. Right. And we have an event coming up in Cincinnati. So we're taking it offline. So Aaron was found online and we're going offline. You know, this is going to be hopefully the address. Um, just working with a contract with the hotel to see if we can, you know, do an event there. Hopefully, you know, that makes sense. So now we're, I'm going to get to see Aaron in person uh, because we have a commitment. Aaron invested $200 into partnering with this company, into our leadership. You know, um, so that means we have an invested interest to support him. Now, doesn't mean if you recruit somebody in Mexico, you have to go to Mexico the next day. You know, I happen to be in America anyway. So, you know, I'm committed to travel and help people. But wherever you can, if you meet somebody online, go down the road for a coffee meeting. See if you can meet them for coffee to sit down with them and go over their goals. Have an upline with you. Have an upline on the phone so you can meet them physically and it's stronger to meet people online. So I never have, I never meet, I never have online business partners, I turn it offline quickly. If I meet you online, I might make a phone call and to make it offline, make it more personal, make it more relationship building. Um, so hopefully that helps. Um, how am I finding prospects? You know, everywhere. I'm using, you know, I'm looking in Facebook groups. I'm typing in, you know, entrepreneur groups. You know, I'm looking in Eventbrite. You know, I'm prospecting my friends and family. Don't neglect your mobile phone. Nobody has prospected all of their warm market. Warm market means people that you know. If they heard your name, if they saw you in the street, they'll recognize you and say, hey, Darlene, how's it going? Hey, Ricardo, how's it going? That's your warm market, someone that recognizes and knows your face, knows your voice. Nobody has prospected all of their warm market. I know that because I haven't, and I've been doing the business longer than you, and I've recruited more people than nearly anybody on this line. Well, maybe not everybody. Some people are better than me. I've recruited, but you know, I've recruited over 100 people since I started this opportunity, and I haven't finished speaking to 20% of the people on this mobile phone. Because some of them, you know, I, I'm preaching to the choir and I'm telling you guys to speak to all your friends and family. And I'm still being honest and saying, I haven't spoken to anyone on my mobile phone. I haven't gone from A to Z. And when I do finally get the courage, or not so much the courage, or find the time to practice what I'm preaching, to go from A to Z on my phone, I will be 40-40 or 
50-50 or 60-60 club because I promise you that some people who've been watching me who are waiting for a phone call, they'll never come to me and say, David, I've been watching, I'm ready to join, but they're waiting for me to make the first move. When I make that first move, I'm going to see a lot of success in my business. I promise you that. So, um, um, yeah. So hopefully that answers your question. No such thing as just online and offline is both. You know, he's really finding people online and offline and making sure that the relationship is tight and strong, whatever you can do. Um, what, what's your day-to-day -day routine for building your business? From Catherine. Great question, Catherine. Um, great question. Day-to-day -day routine for building my business. Um, and everybody's going to be different. And remember, whatever I say, it doesn't necessarily mean you copy what, I, what I'm doing. My business is different to your business. You know, um, I may have, you know, uh, 20 people I've personally sponsored that I have a sole responsibility for and I have a, you know, a team of 2,100 people. So that day-to-day -day method might be fully retired, you know, from my nine to five job working in my planet marketing business on a full-time basis. That might be different to if you are uh, working a full-time job as a librarian and you're a bronze builder building planet marketing on the side. What we do each day should be very likely to be quite different. But I can give you some of the fundamentals of things that I do um, that help me to stay uh, focused on my goal and help me to stay, you know, in um, in sync with my objectives. The person who wins in this business is the person who's showing the plan to the most people. Show the plan, show the plan, show the plan. And once you finish showing the plan, what do you want to do next? You want to show the plan. And when you show the plan enough, you're going to recruit someone. And what you want to do is that person you recruit, you want to teach them how to show the plan. And when you've, once you've taught them how to show the plan, teach them how to show the plan again. And once you've taught them that, how to show the plan again, you're going to teach them how to show the plan again. And again, and again, and again, and again. Until you find an Andre Sinclair, a Toby DaCosta, a John DaCosta, and a Risha Bartley, somebody who can totally change your life. Keep showing the plan. Keep showing the plan. The right people are out there and they're looking. And someone else is going to speak to them if you don't. So um, keep showing the plan. So most of my day-to-day -day activities should be on prospecting. New blood. Getting new people into my business. And the reason, main reason for that is that one of the things that fixes most issues or resolves most problems in your business is new people joining. If you're feeling down, depressed, stale, burnt out, having a new person join your business like Aaron, saying, hey guys, I'm really excited. I've got five people in my living room. You know, they all want to know about the business. When can we get them on a the call? That's going to make you feel like, oh, wow, five people? Um, well, yeah, let's, let's, um, let's get David or John on the call. Let's, what, yo, let's, yeah, we, five people? Wow, okay. Um, yeah, tell me about them. Let's, let's do it. That could be five people joining. That could be over 300 pounds, 300 dollars. You know, just like that, because they're all excited. And you're going to get that excitement from a new person. But from a person who's been in your business for maybe two years, some of them are going to be really pumped up and excited. Some of them are going to be stale. Oh, I haven't got anyone to jump on the webinar. Oh, I made a post. It was really good. Amanda told me to take it down. It wasn't compliant. Oh, oh, no one's joining the webinar. No one's, no one's joining my business. I've spoken to everybody. They said it's a pyramid. I have never even been to Egypt. Oh. <laughs> you know, that's how sometimes it's going to feel when some people in your business are going a bit stale and it can be frustrating it can be it can it can, it can drain you it can drain your energy and you're you're most likely going to get that from someone who's been in the business for a long time but someone who's brand new in the business is going to be fresh they're going to be excited and you want that it's important for you even for me i can get down in my business i can feel oh man this is it's getting frustrating, it's getting long, it's getting it's depressing, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. But when I've got that new person in my business and I've recruited some new people, I've got someone who's about to join in Panama. I've got the first person in Panama. And I'm like, yes, can't wait. If they can get to convention, woo! The first Panamanian bronze builder, the first Panamanian silver builder, the first Panamanian gold builder. I can't wait. I can't wait to make the first bronze flyer because it's going to say, uh, you know, my new business partner, Alison, and it's going to have the Panamanian flag. And I'm going to be like, woo! Let me see if Alison's on the line, actually. Uh, she might be on the line. Alison is on the line. Woo, woo, woo! Um, so, you know, I can't wait. I'm excited. You know, so um, it's, it's a case where you want to 
keep bringing new people into your business because it's going to keep you on your toes. And I can't now be as a mentor training you guys, telling you what to do if I'm not doing it. Because I'm making six figures. If I'm just chilling here, eating, eating, uh, eating fries, just chilling, not doing the business anymore. When, you know, when Seymour has a question and says, you know, David, can you help me with this? I'm like, well, the last time I recruited someone was like 2017. I'm making all this money, so I've stopped. You know, so I don't know how to do it anymore. I don't know what phone systems you guys use, if it's Zoom, or I don't know, you know, what you guys say anymore. I don't know what the product is anymore. It's been, a, it's been two years since I've done anything. All this money's coming in. I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm getting nice and fat. I'm living on the beach. You know, I, I'm not really sure what to do, Seymour. I'm sorry. And that's not really good. You know, people would lose respect for you as an upline very, very quickly if you're not in the trenches. I pride myself on being, um, I pride myself on being the hardest worker in, in, in the team. You know, I'm, you know, I might be being arrogant or someone might be able to challenge me, but I would like to think that, you know, nobody works harder than me in this business. And I'm one of the hardest workers, you know, I've got maybe the most people to deal with, you know, and I put myself out there. You know, you would find me in home event, doesn't matter about my income, you'd find me working as if I'm broke. I work my business as if I've got no money left. Um, someone's sharing the screen. Um, yeah, don't share screen, guys, please. Um, yeah, uh, so, George's screen. Yeah, if you've done a screen share, uh, stop it, please. All right, cool. Let me, let me take it back off. All right, guys, yeah, so I work my business um, as, if, as if I'm broke. And that's the best thing. So let me go back to the question. So day-to-day, um, so -day, you know, prospecting, very important. Two, three, four hours a day on prospecting is the most time that you should be spending on your business. Following up, are you following up? You know, I've actually got a new section in my mobile phone which I made today, which says um, I've I've named I've titled it uh, "Got a date, got a date list." So this is these are the people that I've got a date for them to join. Let me show you. I'm not lying. Don't type it right now. Got a date list, I know it's backwards. So that means I've got a date for that when that person's gonna join the business. I need to add Alison to that. I've got a date for Alison, our first new business partner who's gonna be in Panama, which I'm really excited to introduce all of you to. Hopefully, you know, uh, she'll be at a convention as well, and that'll be, you know, exciting to have the first person from Panama walk across the stage here in Planet Marketing uh, history, which is gonna be amazing. And Alison, you know, we're definitely gonna do that. Um, don't know if Alison, you can hear me. Um, I've, I'm muted, Alison. Uh, can you hear me, Alison? You can. Are you are you excited? Yes, I'm excited. I'm driving. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no problem. No problem. All right, I'm gonna put you on mute. All right, cool. So you know, um, yeah. So this is the list. Let me add Alison to my list. Alison. Uh, um, so this is a list of people who I've got a date when they're gonna join the business. Um, now, it's very important. What I've actually done. Um, I'm going to show you my, if for those of you who have a Samsung, I'm going to show you an alarm I've set for myself. Uh, it's probably a bit hard to see if I click it. Uh, there we go. So this is a, my alarm. Got a date list. And if you can see here, the alarm is going to go off on Mondays and Thursdays. So not every day because it might be too much. If somebody's giving me a date when they want to join, if every day I'm like, hey, check this out. Hey, do this. Hey, check this out. Hey, do this. No, it's a bit too much. They've already given me a date, but I don't, if they, if they give me a date of 30 days time, they get paid in 30 days time. Um, I don't want to spam them every single day with some new stuff. Check this, watch this, check this, watch this. It's too much, you know, um, but I don't want to not say anything in that 30 days because 30 days comes and they're like, oh, oh yeah, that travel thing. Um, well, I kind of forgot about it. How much is it again? $200. Oh, um, yeah, it's not a good time right now because that money I put aside for the business, I spent it because I totally forgot about it. Because the last time we spoke was all the way back in March. So I know I told you I'm going to join today, but I forgot about you. I forgot about the business and some bills happened. I needed to buy a cake. I needed to buy a dress. I needed to buy this. I needed to buy that. And the money I was going to spend to join this business, I, I totally spent it because I totally forgot because I ain't heard from you since the meeting we had. So I've put Monday and, you know, or two days in a week, 
far away from each other, set a reminder on your phone to follow up with the people that have given you a date so that they will never forget about you and the business. Give them exciting videos, show them testimonials, get them onto some of our corporate webinars so they can listen and hear the information. Say, you know, I'm really excited, it's Sunday, you're gonna hear from your new millionaire mentor. When you start this business, Donald Bradley, who's the founder of the company, is gonna be your millionaire mentor. I'm gonna be your mentor as well, but Donald is gonna be speaking at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or UK time. I'd love you to hear from him. You know, we've got a motivational call, eight in the morning in the USA or you know, 1 p.m. in the UK. I'd love you to jump on and listen to some motivation once in a while. We've got a new training webinar coming out. You know, I'd love you to jump on once in a while. So follow up, follow up with people that have given you a date, follow up with people in general who are saying, okay, I like the video, I'll get back to you. you know, so that's another thing you wanna be doing, daily method of operation. If you've got a team, you know, um, are you speaking to your team? Are you speaking to your leaders? Your core leaders, are you speaking to them? You know, um, so there's so many things you can be doing, but if you're new in the business, you know, um, following up and prospecting, personal development, you know, what are you reading? What are you studying? What are you taking in? You know, um, and if you're new, if you're a bronze silver in, in this business, if you're a rep, a bronze or silver, you're brand new, your daily method of operation, what you do each day, at some point you should speak to your upline. Try and speak to your upline once a day. Even if you just say, hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm sure your upline is gonna know that you are serious about contacting them to find out how they can help you. Just say, hey, and I tell my business partners, just say, hey, David, how's it going? And I'm gonna say, okay, well, Lisa, she's sent me a message, communicating with me, she wants something. She wants um, to learn something. She wants to know something. She's engaged with her upline. And your upline, if, they, if your upline has got a lot of people on their team, and you are not chasing your upline, and it's not about arrogance or ego, it's nothing to do because I'm a free star, that means you should chase me and I'm so important. No, it's because I care. But because I care, I'm giving my time to the people who are asking for it. Some people say to me, oh, but David, you're so busy. And I'm like, yes, I'm busy. I'm busy helping the people who are getting my time. And if you don't ask for my time because you think I'm too busy, you're not going to get my time because I'm going to forget about you. And that's not in a, uh, you know, a, an arrogant way. But when you have a big team, the person who never speaks to you, never responds in the WhatsApp groups, never responds on the Facebook groups, not coming to the meetings, not messaging at all, you don't speak to them, you don't see them at any events, you don't hear from them. When you've got 100 to 1,000 to 2,000 people in your team, you will subconsciously forget about that person. And it's nothing to do with arrogance or that you don't like them. It's just called life. Nobody's gonna remember the person they first ever prospected in this business back in 2016. You forgot about that person because you didn't follow up or you didn't speak to them again. Doesn't mean you hate them, it means you forgot. And whether you're forgetful, you've got a great memory, if you're really serious about your business and your upline cares, if your upline doesn't care about you, that's different. And I believe everybody in this team has an upline who cares about them. You now, if your upline cares about you and your upline has achieved what you want to achieve financially or rank-wise, and you don't speak to your upline, it's your fault. Your upline wants you to call them, speak to them, text them, because the more you make, the more they make. Very simple, you know? So um, make sure part of your daily method of operation, you're getting in contact with your upline. Now I'm just gonna go off on a tangent here. Um, before I go on to the next question, these are really good questions. Thank you so much, guys. I'm gonna show you guys right now how you can get a why um, how you can get a why from your prospect. Um, so think about this. The why is the most deep, important thing, right? Yes or yes, it is. When you have, when someone has a, a deep why, nothing can stop them. The reason why I work this business sometimes 24 seven, you know, um, so hard and I go crazy as if I'm broke because I've got a deep why to achieve things for myself and my family. Now, so I'm gonna put my AC on. It is hot out here. Maybe I'll go outside and show you guys the view outside. I'll show you guys the view. I might do that in a bit. I'll do that a bit later on. I'll do it on my mobile phone later. But yeah, so how do I get my why? How do I get a why for my prospect? Prospect doesn't know too much about a why, but this is a very cool trick. You're gonna ask your prospect three questions and you're gonna get them a why. And this is gonna work really well, like if you find someone online and you wanna turn them offline, you find someone in an online Facebook group and they live in your local city, you don't have to travel too far and spend too much money, and you wanna go and meet this person. You know, and again, um, ladies, don't go and meet 
strangers, especially guys, um, unless you know that person very well. If someone is just recently, this is just being responsible. If someone's just recently joined your business, you know, even if they've just recently joined your business, try and meet them at a local event. Um, you know, you know, some people might have ulterior motives. You know, be more interested in you than the business. So don't meet a prospect all by yourself that your upline know. Um, and to find out if a guy is interested in you or the business, always say, hey, I would love to get you on a call with my upline, Toby, John, Andre, Ricardo, Carl. Say a male's name, whoever your male upline director is, and it all leads up to me. So you can come up to me, you know, and say, I want to get you on a call with my very successful mentor, David. Now, if that guy is more interested in you, he doesn't want me to be involved. As you know, uh, another man who's successful, I don't really want him to be around. So it's very likely, this is what stupid guys say. They say, oh, no, 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 I don't need to speak to him. I just want to speak to you. Is it, ladies, has anyone ever heard that before? Let me unmute the lines. Um, I'm going to unmute the lines. Everyone's unmuted. Ladies, have you ever heard that before? Has anyone ever heard that before? A guy says, yeah. I can't speak to you. To you. So what that tells me is that person is stupid because <laughs> I just showed you that this is someone who's you know, making a very successful income. They're doing very well in this business. And since you said you wanted to do well in this business, I'm going to get you connected with someone who can show you exactly how to do well. But you don't want to speak to them. You want to speak just to me. You know, whether you think I'm successful or not, I'm trying to get you connected with someone who have, that's why you should edify correctly. If you edify someone correctly and say they make an extra thousand pounds dollars or, you know, six figure income, you know, somebody who's serious about this business should want to do that. For example, if I want to learn how to play football and somebody says, oh, I can get you tickets to go and learn from Ronaldo or Messi or Pele or the best footballers in the world, I've got you tickets to go and learn from them. Do you want these tickets? And I say, no, I don't give me the tickets. You teach me football. That's what it sounds like. I'm, I've got tickets for you to learn from one of the best singers. I've got tickets for you to go and work with Beyonce in a boot camp for a week. Here are the tickets. No, I don't want the tickets. You teach me how to sing. No, I did, Beyonce, like, you know, one of the best singers of all time. You know, she's very successful. No, 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 don't worry about Beyonce. You teach me how to sing. That's how they sound. So it's very easy to eradicate, you know, people who are not very serious about the business. And again, always be working with your direct upline. If you're dealing with a stranger and they want to meet you, do not meet them. You don't need to meet anybody for them to join this business. If the business costs twenty thousand dollars, twenty thousand pounds, yeah, you need to sit down, bring your briefcase, bring your lawyer, your attorneys, you know, your wife, your husband, your financial advisors, and you know, really thrash this out with your bank manager. But because it costs so little, you don't need to meet someone for them to have the belief in you that this is a legitimate business. If they are so skeptical after seeing all the information, a phone call, seeing you know, videos and webinars, they're not the right person for you. They're too skeptical to join, they're too skeptical to do anything. And that's okay. We leave them where they are. When you're ready, you can come to a physical meeting, you can come to a webinar. If that's not enough for you, I don't need to meet you as a stranger. And if I do meet you, I'm going to meet you with my upline. And if you're not happy for that, then you don't deserve my time. I don't need you in my business. And so be very firm on that, uh, ladies. Um, you're going to get a lot of guys out there who are you know, very useless. Um, <laughs> uh, it's a bit of a male bashing there. Uh, let me keep going. Um, so, yes. So how do I get a why for my prospect? And if you meet someone on one-on-one -on -one who's a prospect you know, with your upline or someone that you know very well, these are some questions you can ask. Number one, you can write this down. I'm going to post this in the groups. You know, you can inbox me and I'll send this to you. Why do you want to work from home? Or why do you want to have a home-based business? If you've been talking to someone and they say, oh, I'm interested in your business. So if someone messages on one of your Facebook adverts, one of your Instagram adverts, or they inbox you, they see a post you've made, or they're just talking to you, or whatever way somebody says, hey, Ricardo, I'm interested in what you have. I'm interested in your business. I'm interested in your post. I'm interested in something you've said regarding planet marketing or intelligent travel. One of the first questions you can ask them is, why do you want to work from home? Or why do you want a home-based business? business. Now they might say something like, you know, so I can spend more time with my family, so I can make some more extra income, so I don't have to wake up so early and, you know, miss out on these sort of things. That's part of a why. Does it sound like a why? I want to do this so I don't have to do that, you know. Um, second question, why did you choose travel? Of all the businesses, why is it travel that interests you? 
Oh, because, you know, I've got a huge passion for travel. You know, there's so many other things out there, like health and wellness, and it's not really my thing, but travel really excites me. I love traveling. I love going to Tenerife. You know, I think everybody around me travels, so I think it would make a lot of sense. You're closing this person. They're giving you their why. They're giving you strong reasons why this business is going to make sense for them. Third question. How much money are you looking to make in this opportunity? Um, if I could make £1,500, I'll be very happy. If I can make $2,000, I'll be very happy. Um, so you've pretty much just got a why. I want to do this home-based business so I can spend more time with my family. You know, I really have a passion for travel and I want to travel a bit more. And if I can make, you know, £150 a month, you know, um, $200 a month, and that will really change, you know, my circumstances and help me to do A, B, and C. If you, can, you can pull that from someone, even if you're a rep. If you're brand new in a business and you haven't got a lot of experience, you can answer those four, three questions. Why do you want to work from home? Why did you choose travel? How much money are you looking to make? And the person who answers all of that, you've basically closed them as to why they need this business. Now, if they then say they don't want to join anymore, so you're going to say, so you don't really want to work from home, spend more time with your family, you don't have a passion for travel anymore, or you know, you're know you not looking to make an extra £150 or $200 uh, $2,000 a month, you know, um, you don't need that anymore, or, you know, does your family not need that anymore, et cetera, et cetera. You know, so you've got a deep why from somebody just by asking those questions. Hopefully that helps you guys. Um, I'm going to keep going. Um, we're going to be here all night, guys. Um, what's your day-to-day -day routine for building a business? Uh, very quickly, you know, prospecting, following up, speak to your upline, personal development. These are four things that are going to really help you in your journey. Personal development, reading good books, listening to good audio tapes. And I'm actually listening to uh, something right now. I'm just proving it. And if I play it, um, oh, come, yeah, there, uh, SoundCloud, I'm listening to it's the quantum, quantum leap. leap that occurs between the 97 and the three that I want to talk to you about today. This uh, gentleman, Mark Yarnell, is talking about the quantum leap. Why some people make a lot of money and some people don't, you know, in network marketing. Very powerful. Really good. Always be reading something. Always be studying something. Um, all right, guys. So next question. This is from uh, our super one-star director, uh, Lucy uh, Rose. Um, what's the biggest advice you can give to people who feel like giving up after a few weeks? Wow. Great question. Really good question. Let me say a really good question a few times over and over again so I have some time to think about an answer. Uh, what's the best advice you can give to somebody, you can give to people who feel like giving up after a few weeks? Why did you join? And it goes back to that question we just looked at before, you know, um, how to get a why from a prospect, you know, why do you want to work from home? Why did you choose travel? How much money are you looking to make? So when someone says, you know, I feel like giving up, you know, this, maybe it's not for me, why did you join? You joined for a reason. And at the time of you paying $199 or £156, there was something going through your mind, your head, your heart, your credit card that told you that this is a good thing. Something that was in your psyche that you needed this. That's why you purchased it. It wasn't an accident. You didn't slip up. Whoa, my card has been swiped. I'm an internet travel member. It didn't happen like that. You purposefully swiped your card, typed in your details, and you got your agent pin, you got your Planet Rep account, you know, you, you did it on purpose. There was something going through your mind when you did that, what was going through your mind? Get back to the why. What was your why? There's nothing wrong with wanting to quit. I've wanted to quit sometimes. Not Planet, because it's perfect, but network marketing, business. You know, um, what was going through your mind when you joined? And let's really pull a deeper why. Maybe at the time of joining, it was just, oh, I want to make some more money. Go deeper. Why do you want to make some more, more money? Who do you want to make the more money for? And what would be the issue if you don't make that money? What would they experience in their life? What would they go through if you don't make the extra £200, $200 a month? What would your life look like if you don't achieve that thing that you said you wanted to do right before you joined? Are you satisfied with how your life would be if you don't achieve the thing that you said you needed to achieve before you joined? If it was a case of you know, making an extra 500 uh, pounds, dollars a month to put a roof over the head of uh, mum and dad or grandparents or to pay for your child's school uniform or whatever it is, can you live without that thing happening? Can you live without your why? Time, financial freedom, legacy, you know, security, you know, rent, you know, not being homeless, just having extra income, paying for heating, whatever it is that you have, you know, can you live without? 
And even if you're in a comfortable position, the people around you that you can help them with, are you happy for them to not have this opportunity, this blessing of a, of a great business? So people are going to want to quit, you know, after a few weeks. Again, if you know them on a very close level like that, you can have a very real, tangible chat. Because if I talk to some of my guys, you know, who I, who I know very well, we can bump heads, we can talk real. I say, you know, you want to quit after a few weeks. The reason why you joined this business in the first place, can I be transparent? You're broke. You were broke. And there's nothing wrong with being broke. I was broke. That's why I joined the business. You joined the business maybe because you were broke. You are struggling financially. But you gave your boss 5, 10, 20, 30, 40 years working a job, but you give yourself two weeks in the business. And because you didn't find a super cheap deal to Tenerife, you want to quit. Did you ever have a bad day at work? Yeah. 7,428 of them. No, but why didn't you quit? Because you had a deep passion for that job to pay your salary to keep you afloat, you know, to keep your house, to keep the roof over your head. You know, but you want to have that deep why in this business. This business can achieve way more than any nine to five job can because of the way we get paid, the, 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 the frequency we get paid, and the residual income and legacy, you know, a willable business. There's so many things I could say why this business makes sense, but you've got to have that person dig out a deep why and be willing to fight for it. But if somebody really is playing hardball one day, you've given them all the help that you can give them, and they just say, nah, I just want to quit, it's normally down to the refund. They want to quit within 30 days, they want to get that refund. It's surprising how some people will not be able to find the genealogy, they will not be able to find the travel suppliers, they will not be able to find you know, um, how to change their address, they will not be able to find the agent pin, um, but they'll find a way to get the refund. <laughs> you know, it's funny that people will know that refund button, like, you know, within one day of doing the business, they know how to get a refund. They know all the policies, they know exactly the date they need to get the refund, but they will forget the date they're doing the launch party. It's the mindset of some people, and it's okay if people want to quit too soon. And it's, sometimes it's better that they quit in the first two weeks, then you build a big team together, and you invest so much time, effort, and energy into them, and then two years later, then they quit. So, God bless you, you know, wish you all the best, is what it is, that's why you keep your place and keep looking for new people, because you don't need everybody, you need a John, a Toby and Andre. I know John, Toby and Andre are never going to quit this business, I don't ever wake up in the morning calling or wondering if they're going to quit, because I've got leaders, I've got a core team, and that's all you're looking for, people come, people go, people come, people go, the leaders, the core team stay, once you find enough of your core team, you're good, people are going to always quit. And it's okay. Donald Bradley has people quitting his business every single minute. I personally have about 10 to 20 people who go on credit hold and some quit every day. 10 to 20 people go on credit hold a day. Some come back, some quit. Maybe say five people quit a day, maybe 10. Quit a day, you know? But we have a lot of people joining every day. And I'm looking for the people who are really looking to change their life, not who are coming in to see if they can change their life, you know, have a, one hiccup and then run away. And unfortunately, the people that have quit my business and I get to see them on Facebook, they don't quit this business to go and then win the lottery. It just doesn't happen. They go back to where they were when they originally wanted to get into the business in the first place. They had a problem. They had an issue. They joined this business to fix that problem and issue. They quit the business and they're back to square one. They wasted their time. Not my time, because I'm going like this. Lucy is going like this. You know, the people on this webinar who are plugged in and doing their business, they're going like this. Not your income. I didn't say you're making more money. I said you're going like this. So when you're in the business, you're learning, you're growing, you're staying plugged in, you know, and the money will catch up with your level of commitment to the business, personal development. So Lucy, let me know. Hopefully that answered your question. Charlie Mallory, Mallory, sorry guys, I'm really bad with names. What's the biggest obstacle you've, you've come across and how did you manage to deal with it? Great question. What's the biggest obstacle I've come across and how did I manage to deal with it? Um, I mean, you know, a few obstacles. Um, I'll be honest guys, you know, I have to be very transparent, you know, I've got quite a thick rhino skin um, and because I was sold out to this industry, I'm head over heels in love with network marketing as an industry, that when the issues and objections come, it's not really as big as other people's because like, what's the worst that can happen? I'm in love with network marketing, I'm in love with planet marketing. You know, so whatever objection or issue that comes, we're going to fix it, we're going to solve it. There's, there's an answer to everything because nothing in network marketing is new. Eric Warrior has gone through all the issues I'm about to go through at some point. So I can Google and type in and look for advice from Eric Warrior, you know, Donald Bradley, 
you know, an Eileen Ross who'd gone through all of my issues already and could tell me, David, I, you're going through the management trap. David, that's a scatter bomb. David, you're doing this. David, you're doing that. David, that's what's happening right now. David, this is the issue you're facing right now. This is what you do to get around that issue. And I know there's an answer to every problem I've had. I will never have a problem in my business that somebody hasn't experienced before. There's no such thing as a new problem in network marketing. No such thing. Whether my downline don't listen to me, my downline don't like me, there's issues, personal issues. I live too far from the local event. The product is not working as, as well as it should. People are saying there's a pyramid scheme, you know, the blah, blah, blah. This, there's so many things that have already happened and someone else has dealt with that issue and come out the other side with flying colors. And if I'm willing to find the information, I'll get it. I'll learn and succeed. Ask my mentor, he or she can direct me on what to do. Because one of the biggest obstacles, you know, one of the things that maybe is the toughest to deal with is that loved one, that friend or family member who you know that you know that you know they will be amazing at this business. They travel all the time. They travel more than me and Haley Font combined. They travel so much. And they're a public speaker. They're so entrepreneurial. They're always every day talking about positivity, motivation, and even worse, they're always talking about networking and building teams. And they love helping people. And they love traveling. They always are calling hotels and asking if they've got any fam trips and always getting told no. And they always put together group bookings for their friends. They love traveling in groups, but they don't make no money from it. This person sounds perfect for the business. They've got tons of money, tons of time. You know, they can afford the business and they've got the time to do it. They travel. They're an entrepreneur. They book group trips. And they just don't want to look at your business or they don't join no matter what you say to them. It makes so much sense for them to join and they're your best friend. What if we could do this together? It would be so amazing. But they just don't join your business for whatever reason. That could be frustrating, right? You know they're going to go gold in a day. They've got a following. They've got 17 thousand followers you know they, they they will just be so amazing they'll go gold in a day till this day they still haven't joined your business that can be frustrating and i've got people like that in my life who you know will be amazing at this business my good friends family they won't give it a look so maybe that's and that's not so much you know an obstacle because does it mean I make any less money? No. Does it mean my business slowed down or stops? No. It means a good person could have benefited more from this business, but they chose not to, so I can find someone else. So, but it can be something that, you know, for some people who are new, it hurts them. Don't let it be personal. You know, keep doing your thing. Maybe one day they'll have a, give it a look, but just keep doing your thing. You don't get paid more to recruit or to work with a friend, family member, or someone with the same DNA strand as you, as you do a stranger. It's all the same money. Um, new, another question from, um, uh, from Lucy, um, how do you explain to people they're getting in before the momentum and how huge, and how huge this is when they don't really understand what this means? So, and how huge this is when they don't really understand what this means? Great question, Lucy. Let me educate people. What, what momentum is? Momentum is when you're used to making 50... Uh, when you're used to making 50 pounds a month in Planet Martin, you start making 500 pounds. When you're used to making 1,000 pounds a month or $1,000 a month, you start making 5,000. That's what momentum is. It's when, because you've put in the work in a short period of time, you've been grinding, not you, the whole company, and we've gone to 46,000 people now, and momentum is not emotional. We're not in momentum right now. Yes, we're growing by hundreds of people a day, but that's not momentum. Momentum is you're growing by thousands of people an hour. And for a short period of time, this company goes viral. It goes crazy. Just like the no makeup challenge, the um, mannequin challenge, uh, and all the other things that happen that you know in social media just go so viral so quickly. Gandem style. Whoop, 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 whoop. You know, certain things in life happen and they go viral so quick that it's just crazy. And that's what it's going to feel like when you 
experienced momentum in Planet Martin. I've never experienced momentum in my life. You know, uh, and I believe everybody in this webinar probably hasn't experienced momentum in their life. And if you have or you have ever experienced it, you'll be able to tell me about it. And it's crazy. It's like everybody wins a lot of Everybody who's been working their business, who's built up a team big enough so that as the whole world goes viral and everybody's looking at, talking about, wanting to join Planet Marketing because it's triggered enough points around the world where people say, hey, you heard of Planet? Hey, you heard of Planet? Hey, what's this Planet thing? Hey, I need to check out Planet. Hey, everyone's talking about Planet. Hey, what's Planet? And they're going to start looking for people to work with in Planet Marketing. They're going to be looking. They're going to be hunting us down. Normally, we are looking for people. Then people are going to start looking for us. When things get popular, you type in Gandam style yourself. You type in No Makeup Challenge. You type in uh, Ice Bucket Challenge. You went to look for it because it was out there so much that you had to find out what's going on. I want to be in on this too. And that's what momentum is, where the whole company is going to grow so quick, so fast. People are going to make multiple millions, you know, and you are going to be a part of it. So the best way to describe momentum to people is saying, you know, the company is going to go, go viral. And a lot of people are going to make ridiculous amounts of money because they join at the right time. Imagine if, um, it's like, think about birthday cake. There's a, there's somebody's birthday and it's at a party and there's a birthday cake and it's the most tasty birthday cake in the world. And you want some of this birthday cake. Now there's only one cake, but there's 500 people at the party. Where would you like to be in the line? In the first five people in the line to queue up for the birthday cake or the last 500 people? If you're the last 500 people queuing up to get into the, the room to get a slice of the birthday cake, are you going to get any cake? No, you missed it. If you're one of the first people in the line to get somebody's birthday cake, you're going to get a slice. There's at least 12 to 20 slices in this big birthday cake, right? So the first 12, 20 people are going to get a small slice of cake. Number 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, you just missed it. Number 700, oh, gone. And if I can you know, be transparent and name some names of other companies, which I'm not going to do, but you know the names of these companies that have been going for 50 to 100 years. Lucy, this is a good way to describe it. We have one millionaire in our company, Mr. Shedwick White, who I'm going to be seeing tomorrow here in Houston. Um, he's a millionaire. He makes about $3,000 a day. Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas Day, $3,000 a day. He's a millionaire. We have one, one millionaire. So I brag and boast that we have one millionaire because I'm 20 spots away. 24 now. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, you know, that's exciting to me, to be 20 people away from a millionaire. But if I was in one of these other companies where momentum has come and gone many years ago, I've missed it. I will never be 20 people away from the top income earner because there's 7,000 millionaires and I'm going to be number 428,004 and seven. So that's a real number. But, you know, I, I'm not at the beginning of this company. I'm at the end. I'm the last person to join Facebook. Some of you guys on this webinar right now were some of the first people on Facebook. It was at university. Facebook first started off for university students. And imagine if you earned 50p for all the people behind you who joined Facebook. You'd be very wealthy. But some of you just only got a Facebook account the other day. You've missed all the fun we've been having, having on Facebook. You just joined. You missed it. You got in at the end. You want to join a good company at the beginning. So when people are, you're talking to people, Lucy, tell them whether you get it or you don't, whether you like it or you don't, this is a legacy company. It's in travel. It's timeless. It's going to go big. It's going to go viral because travel is not a fad. Travel is not going to be boring in 2028. No, travel is going to be thriving. It's an amazing business, fully legitimate, you know, after license, IATA, you know, blah, 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 results, half a million dollars worth of travel booked in, 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 in three years, you know, 3.1 3 million booked in the UK in the last six months, you know, some of the biggest companies in the world working with us. You don't need to do too much more research for a travel company. We're at the beginning. We're doing very well. We're succeeding. It's going to get big. Join now. We only have 3,000 odd people in the UK. 40, 46,000 people worldwide. Get in now and enjoy it as it goes viral or watch it go viral and try and join afterwards when the, when the big money's been made. When the, you know, when that, that's, that's as simple as it. You need to be looking at this now. 
Um, hopefully I answered your question. From Amy, how do you induct your new team members to ensure they hit the ground running? Uh, great question, Amy. Um, um, really good question. How do you induct new business partners? Now, the first thing is you definitely want to go upline because I, you know, we've got so many teams and we're such a big, strong, powerful team. We've got different people that might do different things for um, a new member. And it's okay, you know, different strategies. So long, you know, pretty much all following the same method, you know, PS3, et cetera, et cetera. Peaking interest, whether you're sharing the business online, offline, you know, just launching your business, doing your training, learning about your product, learning about how to market your business. You know, um, pretty much most of it's all the same. But some of the things you want to do is you don't want to start a business, you want to launch a business. So for my new business partner, you know, um, Alison from Panama, you know, we spoke um, earlier on today about launching her business, not starting her business, launching her business. Uh, and this is actually something that I personally hand on heart. I don't do enough of, I don't really think I've ever done one, a launch call. The hardest thing to do to a prospect is to get them to a meeting, a physical meeting. The second hardest thing is to get them onto a webinar. But the easiest thing is to get them to dial a number. See, to get them to a physical meeting, they have to shower, they have to have a car, have a bus pass, you know, come out of the house, walk down the road, get into the car, get into the public transport, turn up on time, rain, sun or shine, to sit down on time to a physical meeting. There's a lot of things that could go wrong that mean that person doesn't come to a meeting. Now, it doesn't mean you don't invite to meetings because you would rather be at the Drake concert or your favorite concert than see a video on YouTube. Yes or yes? Do you rather be at the concert? I got to see Drake live, you know, and it was amazing. And I've seen Drake videos on YouTube. Two totally different experiences. So getting someone to a physical meeting is the best thing you can do. But it's hard. It takes more effort. Second hardest thing, webinars. Oh, I've got no memory on my phone or my laptop. Oh, it says it's a virus. Oh, I'm not sure about this, you know. But when I say, hey, here's this number, 0784222555. Click the number, press the number at 4 p.m. That's it. If you are social media savvy, if you're an oldie, if you're a youngie, if you're hip, if you're not hip, everybody over the, age of, over the age of 18 can dial a number. So when I tell you to dial this number at 4 p.m. and just listen, if you're at work, put a headphone in and pretend that you're, you're working. It's the easiest thing you can do. So I'm actually going to personally, and this friend of my business partners, and I'm going to speak to you guys shortly, um, I'm actually going to personally start doing launch calls for my new business partners where we use different tactics to say, um, hey, um, Abby, oh my days, I'm really excited. I've just about launched my business. I've got my project set up. I'm ready to go. I need you to hear about it. Um, I know you're at work, but call this number at 4 p.m. Put one of your headphones in if you're at work. You know, just call. It's only going to be about five minutes long. I want you to listen. Uh, one of my business partners is going to be talking about what I'm doing. And there's so many strategies. Hey, um, Arisha, I know um, we spoke about my travel business, but um, and, and I know you said it's not really for you, and that's totally fine. But you're one of my really good friends from back in the days. I just want you to you know, listen to what it is I'm doing. Um, I'm going to be talking you know, for a short bit on this uh, launch call. I just, you know, give me some feedback. Tell me how I sounded. You know, was I funny? Because you, know, you know me. You know, you know how I really sound. You know, just, yeah, give me some feedback. I want you to call in and listen in to what I'm doing. Hey, Becky, um, you know, pff, Becky, you've been my friend for like, you know, 10 years. So I know I've shared my business with you. You know, you didn't really watch the video properly. You know, my app told me you only watched 2%. But Becky, you know, you, you're, you're supposed to be a good friend to me. And if you were doing something, I would support you. If you was on X Factor, I would come and support you. If you ha opened a restaurant, I would come and eat there. If you had a hair business, I would come and get my hair done there. But I've just started a travel business. I don't need you to join. You know, don't bring your credit card, but I just want you to call into this number at 4 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 1 in the morning. Um, I just want you to listen to what I'm doing. I'm going to be speaking with one of my very successful business partners. But yeah, just hear it out. You know, give me some feedback on what you felt. Uh, but you're one of my good friends. You know, I would, I would definitely want you to know what I'm doing. Imagine if, if I didn't know what job you had or I didn't know what you was doing, you know, and we're supposed to be friends. So, you know, I really, I really trust you. I really trust you'll be able to jump on. Yeah, so give me a call afterwards and let me know what you, what you thought of it. So many ways I can speak to people from all different walks of life. Um, hey, Curtis, man, you know, I told you to, you know, come to my event the other day. I know you couldn't make it and that's, that's cool. But, you know, I know you're at home right now and I know you've got, you know, five minutes. I want you to call this number 
I'm about to go live shortly on this uh, launch form. Look, you know, you've been my brother for the last 10 years, like, as long as I've known you, you know, we're family, we're brothers, we're sisters, we're, we're aunties, we're uncles, whatever. You know, you're my family. So you owe me at least five minutes of your life to listen to something that I'm very excited about. I'm telling you, Curtis, you know, that's my brother. I'm really excited about this thing that I'm doing. I'm very excited about it, Curtis. You know, so I just want you to support me. I just need five minutes of your time. And Curtis, you know, that's my brother. If you can't give me five minutes, you know, then I'm not going to borrow you money next time you ask me. Or you're not coming to my house for Christmas, you know, or whatever you need to say. Posture. You're my cousin. You owe me at least five minutes of your time to call a number. I'm not asking you to give me seven grand. I'm not asking you to, to clean my car every day. I'm saying call a number. It's free. Call a number. Give me five minutes of your time. And on that launch call, you have a qualified upline like myself, who's a boss, who's going to talk about this business. Maybe we play an audio from Mr. Bradley, your millionaire mentor. So when that person gives you that time, you know, they'll be like, oh, wow. I was coming on the call to give you some feedback to tell you how boring you sounded. But I don't know who that guy Toby Costa was, but wow, he sounded powerful. Is that really what you're, you're involved with? So are you saying you have two millionaire mentors and you hear from James on Sunday and Donald on Sunday and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, more times than you probably speak to your partner, you hear from multiple six and seven figure income earners? who are all talking about the same business that you have? Are you saying six times a week you are learning from people that make you know, over $5,000 a day and they have the same back office as you? Wow. Are you saying you're able to work with travel suppliers around the world? Are you saying you're able to have money coming into your account from people booking travel in your sleep? I didn't know that. You know, I saw a post you made. I don't really believe much in it, but wow. Are you saying you are the biggest homeworking travel agency group in Europe right now? Are you saying you are one of the biggest travel uh, groups of individuals working from home on earth? Wow, are you saying you just got started? Are you saying you just had one millionaire come out in this about three and a half years and there's many more following him? Okay, it sounds, sounds a bit bigger and better than I thought it was. What's the name of the company again? You know, so there's so many ways you can launch your business. You know, so a launch call is very simple and effective for anybody. Um, uh, webinar, doing the first webinar. And uh, I was again, I was talking to Alison earlier on, we're going to do a webinar to launch a business and she's going to, you know, say a few words. Thank you so much for joining. I'd love to pass you to my business partner, David, who's been able to not just retire himself, but retire so many people, help them to make, you know, for an extra 100 uh, pounds or dollars to an extra, you know, 8,000 pounds, dollars a month. You know, he's got people who are about to become six figure income earners in his organization. So he's qualified, highly qualified in, in, in helping people to understand more about the business. Pass you to David, blah, blah, blah. Webinars, home events. Do a home event as soon as possible. Some people are going to say, well, I just want to book travel. I just want to book travel. It's okay. Do a home event anyway. Because the best way to tell your friends and family that you now are a travel agent, since yesterday you was a teacher and today you're a travel agent, the best way to tell your friends and family is by letting a qualified upline get on a webinar or a physical event or launch call to tell your friends and family. You are not the best person to tell your friends and family. They probably don't listen or respect you as much as they would someone who's very qualified, who can talk confident and clearly like me, who knows the business through and through, who can talk about the relationship between Planet Martin and IntelliTravel, who can talk about IntelliTravel being a 27-year-old company who you know, has founders, you know, have been doing this for a very long time, who uh, you know, we have uh, awards and recognitions that no other company has in the travel space, you know, uh, you know, we can talk about the fact that we're working with the Carnival Cruise Lines, that we have you know, an A-plus rating with the BBB, that we book uh, 2,000 cabins from most of the major cruise liners. We put them aside for Intelli Travel Agents in case it's sold out for your clients. You know, that we have the ability to book fan trips working very closely with Disney, you know, so we can go and experience and indulge in Disney so we can better sell it to our clients. You know, this will come better from a qualified upline than from yourself. Now, if you go and tell your friends and family, hey guys, I'm a travel agent now, book with me. Uh, yeah, cool. Why would I book with you? Like, you're a travel agent. How do you just become a travel agent like that? But when an upline does a professional presentation, and articulates and explains and demonstrates and shows what IntelliTravel is and what we're all about, your friends and family will be impressed if you get the right upline to do that for you. So if you just want to book travel, you need, from, you need some clients. If you need some clients, you need some clients that trust you enough 
to want to work with you in terms of them booking with you, do a home event. Let them know that you have a big business. Um, so hopefully that answered the question. Um, get them the belief check. Your new business partners, help them get a belief check as quick as possible. Um, when they make that first $50, 42 pounds, you know, they're going to be a bit more excited than when they haven't. How do you do your new team members ensure they hit the ground running? So um, from Abby, how do you approach people you don't know online? Is there a best, is, is it best to be direct or start conversations through common interests first or both? Great question, Abby. How do I approach people online who are total strangers? So I'm going to go into a group on Facebook called Travel Lovers or Work, you know, work From Home groups or people that love to travel or people in Scumfort that love to travel. Whatever the group is, I want to build rapport. I want to talk to people. I want to prospect them, right? Now, Abby, the answer to that, I would say is both. Sometimes I don't build rapport. I'm not going to ask about your family, your children, your cat, your dog. How's the weather? No, I'm going to take my shot. I'm going to talk to you straight, raw, and direct and say, hey, Alan, how's it going? I'm really looking to connect with some very ambitious people. I saw you in this group for travelers or in this group for business people. I'd love to share some information with you about how we could work together. And I will be able to get you connected with some very successful millionaires who can coach train you to make you know, an, extra, an extra stream of income for you, yourself and your family. Are you currently looking for ways to make more money? Are you currently looking for ways to travel better? Straight, direct, Alan is going to say yes or no. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I took a shot like that the other day, and the person is joining my organization next week. Stranger. Didn't ask about their cat. Didn't ask about what, 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 what countries they've traveled to. I didn't ask about where their, what their wallpaper looks like. I said, I'm looking for business partners, which I am. Nothing wrong with that. There's also nothing wrong with building rapport. Um, and overall, you want to build rapport. You want to, people buy from people they trust. So when you just take the shot, if you've got the posture, the confidence, send a voice note, a strong voice note, or you know, your, your social media looks the part that you look like a leader, you look like a boss, you look like you can actually help change someone's life, then taking a shot direct, you, know, um, you probably may get better results. But overall, building a relationship, building rapport is best because people buy from people they trust. You know, or people maybe they look up to. So if you don't have the presence where someone would look up to you, start building relationships. And you can use frog. Um, frog. Family. Talk about their family. R. Recreation. What do you do in your spare time? What do you do for fun? Badminton, football, Pilates. F. Family. R. Uh, recreation. I can't spell frog. O. Occupation. What do you do for work? How do you make your income? Oh, you're a nurse? Oh, you must love that. Oh, you don't? What don't you like about it? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? What upsets you about your job? What do you like about your job? If you could change anything about your job, what, what, what would be the things you change? If you, could create, if you could create the perfect job, what would it be like? Questions, right? Now, what am I doing in asking, asking those questions? I'm building a list of things that they have said that will help me to talk about how they could work together with me. If they say, if I, if they say yeah, they're a nurse, I say, oh, you're a nurse. Wow, you must love that. I'm going to assume they love that. And most people want to give you the opposite. Nah, it's, it's all right. Yeah, it's okay. It's not that good. Oh, really? Why? What's, what's wrong with it? What parts don't you like? You're telling me why you might need it. You might be open to looking for a new way of earning a living. Or why you might be stressed at your job. You're not earning enough money. You don't get the time for your family. Right? Whatever they say, oh, you're a plumber. Oh, plumber, you must love that job. Nah, it's not really all that. Not many. Some people will say, yeah, I love it. Most people probably say, yeah, it's all right, pays the bills. I've been talking about that. Well, you know, sounds like you're not really, you know, over the moon about it. You know, what would be the perfect job for you? If you could do anything, what would you do? So, frog, family, talk about their family. Uh, and not personal questions, you know, how tall is your wife? You know, what type of, what type of perfume does she wear? You know, does your husband really, does your husband like bear you know don't go too deep too personal you know talk you know this is about family oh where, where are your family from you know okay you have any children etc etc you know um uh recreation what do you do for work uh so what do you do for fun occupation <laughs> who's laughing <laughs> oliver you're laughing at me <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> i've been drinking i've been drinking i've been drinking um yeah great to see you online oliver oh man 
I was just uh, on your on your Facebook the other day. Um, you guys smashing it, man. It's looking the part. It's really uh, it's so exciting. We've got how many people? We've got 45 people on the line right now. Some people have gone to bed. I've recorded this, so um, I will get this into our um, Facebook group so you can share it with your teams. You know, I'm, I'm over talking. I'm, I, I know I'm talking too much, but I'm, what I'm doing is I'm over answering the questions. And I'm trying to get every single corner of these questions. So I'm not just answering it in a simple way. I'm over answering it and giving you as much as possible. So when you watch this back, you can study and learn different, different uh, parameters of the same question. The question is, what, how do I deal with people who go ghost? Can be answered very simple. Just move on and talk to more people. But I didn't just say that. I over answered it. So this can be a training for leaders who want to keep learning the different objections and things. So yeah, so talk about the family. That's the F. Talk about what they do for recreation. That's the R. Talk about their occupation. That's the O. And G, their goals. What are your goals? So, you know, where do you see yourself, um, Oliver, in the next five, ten years? You know, um, you said about your, your children. You know, are you looking to take them to university or college or... Is it, how, how much is it going to cost? You know, is it expensive? Oh, your son, you want to get him a new car. Okay, cool. You know, so talking about those things enough and show genuine interest, that's how you can build rapport. And many times they will give you the opportunity to insert your business. When they say something like, oh man, yeah, um, recreation, I love to travel. Really? Really? You know, or they say, uh, Lucy, stop laughing at me. <laughs> I can see you, don't <laughs> Um, you know, or they might say, yeah, man, I love my job, but yeah, they, they don't pay me enough. Really? Really? You know, they don't pay you enough. That's an opportunity for me to insert my business to say, well, if you can make some extra money on the side, you know, how much would you need to make for you to be a bit comfortable? 500, 50 pounds, 1,000 pounds? Well, if you had just 30 minutes or one hour a day to get that extra five, Oliver, are you crying? <laughs> if you had, and I'm not that funny, am I? <laughs> oh, thank you, girl. I'm blushing now. I can't blush. Um, <laughs> if you had an extra, you know, 30 minutes to one hour a day, and it can make you that 500 pounds, you know, a month, would that be worth it for you? Would that be a good thing? It would? Okay. Well, I might have something that'd be really good for you, you know. I've got a business that I'm doing, and I've got a lot of business partners who've done that. With 30 minutes to one hour a day, they're making an extra 50 pounds, 500 pounds, 1,000 pounds a month. So, you know, it may not be for you, but, you know, if you said, you know, your nursing job is not giving you that extra money that you, you need, then, yeah, you should definitely check this out. You know, some of my friends are doing it and it's really working well for them. It's something I'm doing myself and I'm looking to do A, B, and C. Now, what I said there is I'm looking to do. If you are a rep, bond, silver builder, chances are you're not making crazy amounts of money. So let's go on to another question. I'm sure somebody may ask one day. When someone says, how much money are you making? You don't talk about how much you're making. That's private information. I don't ask you how much your salary is. So you don't ask me how much my business revenue is. You know, but if someone says, oh, well, how much are you making? Oh, yeah, I'm glad you asked. You know, um, I've just got, I'm, just, I'm still quite new. I'm new. I own a travel business. It's three years old. If a hotel, if this hotel I'm in right now is three years old, it's a new hotel. It's a business. If, you know, maybe not a mobile phone because they change so quickly, but a building that's three years old is a new building. A travel agency down your high street that's three years old is a new travel agency. I have a travel business. It's three years old. I am a new business, so I can say I'm new. So if I can say I'm new and I'm the first one to join, you can say you're new. How much are you making? Oh, well, I'm still new in the business. I've just got started, but my goal is to be making at least a thousand pounds a month by Christmas. Now, but how much would you need to make to be happy? Some people are going to ask you the question, oh, you've been doing it for a year or half a year. How much are you making? And the reason why it's very important that you don't tell them how much you're making, firstly, it's none of their damn business. And two, people who don't have a business mindset and your job is to help them, they're going to say, oh, since you're doing it for one year and you're only making £70 a month, that means I'm going to make £70 a month. It doesn't sound like a lot of money cost too much and you're only making a 70 pounds, I'm not going to do it. Now they're prescribing their income based off your income. Or if you say, yeah, I've been doing it like David, I've been doing it for two years and I make a six figure income. This ring, I only realized it the other day, my Sapphire ring um, says 2017. I need to clean my nails. Damn it. What have I been doing? Scratching puppies. Um, my Sapphire ring <laughs> says, 2017, I joined in 2016. So roughly in a year, I made six figures. I don't know how that happened. I joined in it. 
damn, I joined at the end of 2016. Oh, wow, maybe less than a year I made six figures. Wow, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm a boss. <laughs> um, you know, so roughly in a year's time, I made a six-figure income residually uh, over 8,333 you know, US dollars every 30 days in my sleep. So if I say that to someone, they, they might be like, well, I can't do that. So I'm not going to join because it's, it's too much money. I don't believe you. Or I say I'm only making five pounds every other month because I'm a rep or a bronze builder. You know, and they might say, oh, that's too small. I'm not going to do it. So the reason why I'm sharing this business with you is not because of what I'm making. I'm sharing this business with you because I want to help you make something. The compensation plan pays 5p to 5 million. It can pay you anywhere in between that you want to earn. It can pay you unlimited income. You know, so think of it. The best example is this. When someone says, oh, well, tell me how much you're making. You know, you can say to them, well, I don't want to tell you what I'm making. First, it's private information. But my goal is to be making a thousand pound a month by the end of the year. And I'm working with multiple millionaires who've done it and who can show me how to do it. So I know I'm in good hands because Lucy is actually showing me exactly what to do. Oliver's actually telling me exactly what to do. Aaron and Becky are telling me exactly what to do. So I know I can achieve that because they've done it. And our business can pay from pennies to millions. So I know somewhere between pennies and millions is somewhere where me and my family will be happy. But I'm sharing this business with you because your family might need a different amount of money to mine. My family might need an extra thousand pounds a month. Your family might need an extra 7,000 pounds a month. So we're different. Now, the best analogy for this is just because David got married and had a super amazing marriage for 50 years, it doesn't mean when Bobby gets married, he's going to have the same. If my friend Bobby says, oh, David, wow, you got married. You've been married for 50 years. Okay, great. I'm going to get married too. I'm going to get the same results. No, Bobby, you may get punched in your face on a wedding day. You know, it may not be as smooth as my marriage was. Just because my marriage went amazing doesn't mean you should go out there and get married and expect to have an amazing marriage. My situation and your situation could be totally different. So don't assume because I'm making a six-figure income or because I'm not or because I'm making no money or making big money, you're going to get those same results. Everybody's different. My work ethic might be high or low. Your work ethic might be high or low. You know, the most of the people I speak to at the beginning happen to be good people. And then maybe later on, I speak to some bad people. You might speak to your good people first or last. It doesn't matter. So that means you, you might stay bond for a long time and then rank up quickly to two star, or you might rank up quickly to two star and then stay two star for a long time. You know, so everybody's situation is different. So just to go off tangent there. Um, right. Uh, so yes, hope that made sense. You know, sometimes go direct, answer question. And if you've got enough prospects, you shouldn't feel like you're running out of people to try and experiment. Direct, hey, Aaron, I'm looking to make some serious income. I'm looking for some sharp people to work with. I saw your profile. You look like some sort of person I'd love to work with. I'd love to have you to jump on the phone call, you know, um, to hear a bit more about our business at 8 p.m. My millionaire mentor, Donald Bell, will be talking about our company. I've got a video for you to watch. You know, I've got an event for you to go to. If you're serious and ambitious like I, like I believe you are, let's do this. Hey, Aaron, yeah, I'd love to, you know, connect. I'm looking to make some friends in the area. You know, uh, what is it you do? How are the children? What do you do for work? Where do you play? How do you like your job? What don't you like about it? Blah, 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 blah. Build a report, go straight to it. If you've got thousands of prospects, which you should have, because we've got Facebook, which has got millions and billions of people, so you should never run out of people. You can't run out of people unless you've got no Facebook, no Instagram, no friends, no phone. Um, you can't run out of people. Take the shots and try different things. And work with your upline on the best thing to say to people as well, so you can always learn. Um, so yeah, finding common interests. If you find a group of people that love Marvel, Talk to them about Marvel. Are you going to go and see the new film? Are you going to travel to Comic Con? Are you know, you in a travel group? Where do you want to travel to? You know, um, build engagement like that. How do you approach prospects who say that they will sign up, but but take a while to do so? Great question. Um, um, how do you approach prospects who say that they will sign up, but take a while to do so? Again. Realistically, it's probably down to the money. It's not because they, if you only needed an email address to join the business, and people wouldn't be saying, oh, I can't join right now. I can't give you my email right now. Yeah, you can. It's uselessguy at aol.com. Come on, give it to me. Like, like stop being silly. <laughs> so it's normally down to the money. Maybe it's ego. They don't want to let you know that they're struggling financially and they don't have the money or they don't have all the money. Or they have the money, but it's a bit of a risk because that might be the last money they have. So, um, me personally, I believe it's down to the money and you uh, want to 
keep, uh, you know, uh, retargeting good information to them, videos and webinars and showing them testimonials, not every second, but maybe two times a week, maybe one time a week. So if that's they're dragging their feet, firstly, you're looking at other people. You're not waiting for them. If you're waiting for them, you're going to feel like it's dragging on because you're just, oh, when's Oliver going to join? When's Simon going to join? Oh, man. You said, you said last week, you said, you said you get paid today. You lied. You lied to me. How did you lie? You know, so, but if you're waiting for them, it's going to feel like you know, they're dragging you along. But, you know, you follow up your daily method of operation, what you should be doing daily, says, okay, Simon said he's joining on the 17th. He hasn't joined yet. Send him another video. Hey, Simon, just catching up. Is 17th still good for you? When you know, okay, no problem. Well, you know, I just had somebody else get started. I'm really looking forward to helping you launch. You know, let me know when you're ready. You know, but, you know, we'll catch up soon. You're not desperate. You're not begging. Come on, Simon, I need you. You said you were going to join today. What's going on? Never do that because they're going to realize, oh, you need me. You're desperate. But when you're like, okay, no problem, and you're excited, you're bubbly, you're talking about their success, they're seeing you post on Facebook, all these new people join in. And when someone joins someone else's team in your team, show it. Hey, so excited. We've had Lucy join the business. Yeah, well, welcome, Lucy. I'm really excited to be connecting with you. I'm really excited to be working with you. And they're going to think Lucy's in your team. And they're like, oh, because I haven't joined. They're not crying and waiting. Lucy just joined. Amy just joined. Robert just joined. Oh, man. Well, they're not waiting for me. They're clearly succeeding. So, but if you cry, oh, you said you was going to join yesterday. Why not? Come on, please. They're going to be like them control. So, um, yeah, great question. Um, and you can ask them if you, if you know them on a level, you know, okay. If it's money, if they are open and honest and say, you know, money's a bit tight. I'm sorry. I thought I was going to join, but something happened and I don't have the money. You know, sympathize. You know, I know how you feel. You know, I was in the same place or I know people that was in the same place. Um, but you know, that's about why I'm really excited about working with you. I'm really excited about helping you get to the place where whenever you feel you want to do something, that's something that you deserve for you and your family, you can just do it and you don't have to wait till payday. And I know, you know, you know, Simon, you deserve that, right? Yeah. Simon says, yeah, I deserve that. You know, you deserve to be able to have more money in the bank. Yeah, I deserve that. Okay, Simon, well, I'm really going to help you, you know, with this business to never have to wait till payday again. I'm really excited about helping you do that. But you know, when you do get paid, you know, make sure you let me know. Let's put a new date in the diary. When is it that you think you get paid next? 18? Okay, great. Now we're going to make sure that we work together so that, you know, you're in a position where your family can have what they want, when they want, because, you know, you've worked hard for it. Is that, does that sound good, Simon? Great. And then you again, follow up, follow up, follow up until the 18th or whatever date they set. We've been going late, guys. What time is it in the UK? I don't even know. Now we've got 42 people. It's getting late. All right. Let's keep going. Let's get some of these questions. We can hear you. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Sound is fine, I think. Uh, are there any books, podcasts, videos you would recommend that has helped you? Great question. Um, the Bible of network marketing is GoPro. When you get started, GoPro, 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 GoPro. And uh, I'm going to be controversial and I'm, go, I'm going to go against what Donald Bradley says. He says, you know, how many books are you, have you read or what are you reading? You know, when people say, oh, I'm listening to the audio, Donald says, you know, not listening to audio, reading. Reading is different. You know, not being read to. You're not a baby. It's not a bedtime story. But for GoPro, I would recommend you first listen to GoPro, like I did back in the days, because the way Eric Worley talks about things, his, um, uh, his tonality, his uh, emphasis, his energy, his excitement and his, and his, and his and anxiety and his, and his fear and all the different you know, feelings in his voice relating to different things in network marketing, you're going to experience that through listening to GoPro um, rather than reading it. Because you, if you're me, I can now read any book in network marketing and when the author is talking about a topic, whether it's a happy or sad topic, talking about making millions or rejection, I can assume what the tonality, how they sound. But with GoPro, when I first started network marketing, I didn't know about rejection and pyramid and how people were sounding. So when I listened to it, where we talk about things, I could be like, oh, okay. So you've got to be really excited. How does excited, excited sound? Hey, Oliver, I'm really excited. You know, I'm about to start this business. You know, I know I haven't succeeded before, but I know this is it and I need you to be with me. Can you come to the meeting? I can't get that excitement from a book because it doesn't say, be really excited about this part. It's just text. So I would recommend you listen to GoPro first. Then if you really want to pursue it more, get the book, read it. GoPro is number one. Um, podcasts, you know, there's so many out there. YouTube, you know, you've got 
Jim Rohn, you've got Eric Worre, you know, there's so many videos. Plug into GoPro. GoPro is all you need. There's billions of videos there. They're going to talk about how to do network marketing as a couple, how to do network marketing if all your friends hate you, how to do network marketing if all your family and friends hate you, how to do network marketing if all your family, friends, and enemies hate you. You know, it's going to have topics on anything. How to overcome, I haven't got the money, how to overcome um, this pyramid, how to overcome the fact that, you know, you've done 17 companies before. You know, how to overcome the fact that, you know, you're the only person in the whole village doing it. You know, there's every single question being answered with GoPro. GoPro is enough. If you're new, you know, GoPro on YouTube, I mean, his, his, um, his YouTube channel has a lot there. So um, videos, of course, yeah, GoPro videos, you know, there's more than enough there. Podcasts, you know, you know, so many podcasts. But, you know, just if you're new, just go for enough in the book. Your second books, you know, would be Building an Empire, My First Year Network Marketing. Once you've done that, you know, that's a great foundation. You know, those books have really helped me. GoPro helped me be where I am today. Uh, well, uh, how do you build offline? Uh, Frida asks, how do you build offline? Making sure um, you practice your elevator pitch. Your elevator pitch, or for the people in, in the UK, your lift pitch. That doesn't sound as sexy, does it? Your lift pitch, your elevator pitch, is basically a quick 30-second, 60-second overview of what you do. If you go to a networking event, if you bump into someone at the supermarket, you know, you got a business card in hand. Um, yeah, these are the things you want to say. My name is David Acosta. Um, you know, great to meet you. I'm from Southeast London. Um, what I do is um, I own a home-based travel business. We help people get paid weekly and monthly building a business from home in the travel industry. You know, um, uh, you know, if you travel much, you know, I can help you by, you know, helping you, you know, find some great, great deals that I could book for you or give you a business to do that for yourself. You know, and uh, yeah, here's my card, you know, just stay in touch. If you're in a networking event, you know, it's, I think it's four questions, you know, who, are, who, who am I? What do I do? How can I help you? How can we stay in touch? Who am I? My name is David Acosta, I'm from London. Um, what do I do? And I actually own a home-based travel business. We help people get paid weekly and monthly working from home in the travel industry. Um, how can I help you? Well, if you've got any trips coming up yourself, you know, if you like to travel, or if you're looking for a way to make some extra income, I can definitely help you with doing that. How can we stay in touch? Well, here's my card, you know, um, on Instagram, I'm Mr. Go Travel. My Facebook is uh, Lonely Guy Travel um, or whatever, you know, whatever your social media is, whatever your, your um, Lucy, is that wine? It's selfish, not sharing any. Okay. There'd be, there be Kathy Sun. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, so there's so many different ways. Practice in the mirror, you know, your pitch, what you would say to someone. Says, oh, what is it you do? Do it with your family. Tell your family to ask you what is it you do and stutter and fail and mess up and do it over and over and over and over again until just that means you can just say it off the tongue, you know, and it just comes natural. Think of something that sticks in your head. Say the same thing over and over and over and over, and over again till it's stuck with you and that's your saying. When someone says what do you do, it comes very natural to you. It might be more focused on booking travel. It might be more focused on recruiting. It might be more focused on uh, team trips. You know, whatever it is that you have a passion for, memorize it and that's how you build offline firstly knowing what to say when you bump into someone you know going to networking events let me give you my secret event right event right is the reason i've got about 20 business cards from people in houston and up until 24 hours ago i didn't know anyone in houston apart from people planning marketing but now i've got about 20 people who are now prospects of mine contacts from houston because of event right event right is your friend you know you can be going to reading and go to Eventbrite, you know, and check what events are going on in Reading, what networking events, salsa class, you know, uh, uh, speed networking, you know, um, travel groups. There's so many groups going on, you know, and you can go and network with people offline. It's a great question. And always bump, you bump into anybody, be prepared to talk to them about what you do. You're adding value. What's the best, what's the best way that you find works when building offline? So, yeah, I think I'll answer that question again, you know, um, uh, showing value, saying how you can help somebody, leading with the product. You know, travel um, is you know it's fantastic. I was having a good chat with Marcella the other day, and you know I'm even you know looking at the way I build. I, I sometimes lead maybe too much with the opportunity, network marketing, change your life, financial freedom, residual income, matrix. Ah, and you know when you're retired at a young age, you know living your best life on a skyscraper in Panama you know, with a cocktail in hand, you feel, you feel like, you know, you just want to, you wish people would see this industry and be there with you. And they can 
but you first got to get them into your business. And we are blessed to have the most attractive product in network marketing history, which is travel. I'm sorry, I'm biased, and I'm smart. So all these energy drinks and these cans and these coffees and these creams can all be applied on your face or drunken on a damn cruise. You got the best skin product in the world, pull it on on the beach. You got the best coffee in the world, drink it on a cruise. You know, you got the best trading platform, trade on a cruise. <laughs> trade it on a, in an infinity pool. Hello, good yeah. night. In the Bahamas. Um, let me mute that person interrupting my flow. So, um, <laughs> um, so, you know, no product is better than travel, and it's not biased, it's, you know, that what marketing is facts, you know, it's the biggest industry on earth. You know, so um, if we have the most attractive product in network marketing history, we should leave with that. Travel gets people in to talk to us, and then you can share more about sharing the vision. When Donald Bradley spoke to me, he didn't speak to me about travel business. He shared the vision. He shared the dream with me about changing my life. He said, I'm going to help you make $8,333 US dollars, you know, monthly, which is a six-figure income. And I said, no kidding. I said, I don't believe you. You know, I didn't believe how we could help me make that when I normally made, you know, um, £800 a month or $800 a month, you know. So um, he shared me the vision. But that's because you know, he, I was already in the business, I was already a network marketer, he was able to talk to me direct. But for the average person who's not a super entrepreneur, they don't know what the three by nine matrix means, it sounds like a maths equation, it doesn't sound as sexy. Residual income doesn't sound sexy. You know, time financial freedom, you know, doesn't really relate to much people. Who has time and financial freedom? Not many, you know, but a trip to Corfu, to Tenerife for two adults, four children, uh, that's something, oh, that, that got my attention. I've got two, we've got two adults and we've got four children. That's a great deal. You know, I'm interested. I want to talk to you. And then I find out more and more and more opportunity. And it's likely that person who's looking for a deal or is looking for something to do with travel has needs to make money and have some time. But if you first are uh, so much about, um, you know, business, you might scare away the people that are not business minded. Not everyone, not many people are business minded. That's why most people are broke and only a few people own a business and are successful. So, you know, make sure you're not, and this is my mistake, I was too much into um, just talking about the opportunity and not talking about the product enough. And we've had ups and downs in the product. Our product, you know, hasn't always been, you know, the best product in network marketing history in Europe. Now it is in terms of the travel industry. We have no other travel company that can compete with what we have. The training, the support, the systems. And so be very proud of our product. Not perfect, still growing, still getting better. But what we have right now is worth £500 a month. I promise you that. There's some people paying that for less. You know, uh, and not as much fun as we're having. They're by themselves. They're not on a webinar with 40 to 100 to 500 people. They're not going to conventions at the Gaylord's Palm. They're not doing fam trips on cruises called Next Gen, where we're gonna have you know, an amazing time. They're not doing that, they're by themselves. And if they go on a fam trip, they're by themselves. There's nothing worse than being on a fam trip by yourself. <laughs> right? So, um, you know, some people pay a lot more money, um, you know, to have a worse business. So uh, yeah, that's, um, Lucy said, love that example, thank you, thank you. Next, constantly, should be uh, new conversations. Don't take it personally, don't focus on convincing someone, move, onto other positive people. So true, there's so many people in the world and you don't wanna drain your energy or happiness by convincing people. We're sorting, chickens and eagles, chicken and eagles. When you understand that my business really equates to four people equal 2,000 people, I'm not gonna beg people. So Mr. International, Ricardo Groton Lee says, today we have so many new enhancements to the game. How important is it to keep doing the A, B, and C of network marketing? Great question. Great question, Ricardo. And it's something I'm dealing with right now, but I'm, I'm trying to learn more about online building and network marketing. I'm learning more about online building because it's new to me. I follow Mr. Bradley, and for the most time, you know, it's events, it's, you know, phone calls, it's web, yeah, webinars, you know, it's traditional offline building. Events, 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 events. And that's the number one way to build a business, relationships. Like I said, a relationship with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, where you couldn't touch them or see them, would not be as good as you know what you're probably experiencing right now you know um so it's the number one way to build relationships but online is also a very very effective way to build quick and fast 
and to engage with people that you wouldn't normally be able to ever meet. You know, people that live far away, people that, you know, are different countries, different time zones, you know. So learning both, but not getting what we call the scatterbomb, where every new gimmick and, you know, system and scheme, you jump on it. Oh, people are doing adverts in the newspaper. I'm going to do that. Oh, people are doing this on Facebook. Oh, people are doing that. Oh, people are doing this. Oh, people are doing that. Oh, now people are tattooing planet on the back of their neck and walking around let people see their neck. Look, look at my neck, right? You know, um, everything that people want to do, you jump on it. And you can get distracted with the basics of show the plan, build a plot, expose and close. Show the plan, build a plot, expose and close. You know, um, the basics, following up, you know, prospecting, following up, prospecting, speaking to your plan, personal development, the basics of building your business because you're doing every and everything that comes into your, your stratosphere. So the, the basics is, are you prospecting enough? Prospecting, you don't need systems and gimmicks and all of this. You need some numbers of people that you can call and share some information, excited to let them see what you're doing and get them plugged into something. PS3, 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 peak interest. Hey, how's it going, uh, Wendy? Man, I'm so excited I caught you. Um, I've got something which I know you're gonna love. You know, we've been friends for a long time. I know we've always been speaking about helping our families to you know, succeed and doing the best for our children. But Wendy, I've got something which is gonna change my life. I know it's going to change my life. I'm working with some very successful people who are already millionaires. And they're, believe it or not, I, like they're actually helping me personally. You know, I know I don't have any millionaire friends, but these guys are actually helping me personally. And I would love them to help you as well. You know, I can actually get you connected. I actually have the power to get you connected with some very successful millionaires. And they said, you know, they would love to get on a call with you and give you some information about how your family can benefit from what I'm doing. It's about travel. So I know you're going to love it. I know you're a traveler. But um, yeah, you need to hear about this. I don't want to tell everybody else. I wanted to come to you first because you've been one of my best friends for a long time. So anything I'm doing, you, know, you deserve the right to know first. But um, I'm going to give you a call about um, 8 p.m. tonight. Um, I might be doing a webinar from my business partners. It's only going to be like 20 minutes long. You need to be on it so you can get the information first. I'm about to tell Shade and Renika and Simon afterwards. But I wanted you to get my first spot in my team you know, if this is a good fit for you and your family. So yeah, 9 p.m. tonight, make sure you're available. Uh, would that be good for you? You're going to be available 9 tonight? I know the children will be asleep by then. You are? Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to send you some information. Make sure you don't miss it, you know, because I'm only doing this once and I need you to see what I'm doing. Peak interest. That was long-winded. I have, you know, a bit more experience. I can say some things which are very strong. If you're not sure what to say, your upline can help you. Peak interest. Show the information. The webinar. Through a call. Wendy, so you watched the webinar. I want to get you on a call with my upline, Aaron. This guy has been smashing it, making a lot of money. He's helped you know, so many family members around the world. You know, and this guy travels, so he knows his stuff. So anything you have, any questions, you know, I can get this guy on a call. He will answer them. You know, the fact that I know I'm going to succeed because I've got people like him that I can call just like that to help me succeed. You know, I don't know too much about this. I'll be honest, I'm still new. But this guy, he knows everything about the business. So if we follow him, we're going to get his results. And he's doing really good right now. You know, his family are getting, you know, you know, extra income that's changing their lives. So, yeah, I'm going to get him on a quick call to answer any of your questions. Is that okay? You know, um, PS3. I personally prefer P3S. Peak interest. Hey, Aaron, mate, I found it. I found something that I think you're going to love me for. Posture, confident. I'm telling Aaron he's going to love me for this. You're going to really like this thing. I'm not saying oh, I might share something with you. It might be, no, you're going to love this. I know you're always ambitious and you're always looking to, you know, do something, you know, to better your family. I found something that it's about travel as well. I know you travel. This is a big deal. I'm actually on a, on a call with a millionaire right now um, and they're giving me some information about this business. And this gentleman is actually flying to the UK. He's flying to Ohio. He's flying to Cincinnati. He's flying to London. He's flying to Gibraltar. He's flying to wherever to personally train me on how I can succeed in this business. So I need to share with you first, because out of all my friends, Aaron, you're actually the number one guy that I would look to as someone who's you know, really ambitious and really serious. I know you're not going to let me down because you're always about you know, uh, positivity and helping other people, making some serious money. So I thought of you first, and you know, I know you're going to be interested in this. So um, yeah, um, when, when you free for a quick call, I need you to speak to somebody, and trust me, you know, this is it. I found it for us. Uh, 5 p.m.? All right, cool, cool. Okay, I'm going to give you a call then. Hey, upline, 5 p.m., that call? Great. So peak interest, Aaron's interested. Do the call first before sending the video. The video is great, but the video doesn't have Aaron's name on it. 
The video is not personally tailored to Aaron. It's a generic video which explains Intel Drive on Planet Marketing. But when I call Aaron first, I make it personal. And I talk about the fact that Aaron, this um, business is going to help you. I know you're, you're doing this, you're doing that. Maybe you're a teacher, you're a carpenter, you're a DJ. So when you're DJing, you know, this could be something that, you know, when you, uh, you know, tell the, all the people in the crowd, you know, if anyone's traveling, they'll go to my site, aarontravels.co.uk. Book it there. We're going to IB for next week. We've got a big party, blah, blah, blah. Or if you're a teacher, you know, all, this, all, the, all the parents, all the, all the other teachers, when they get time off, school holidays are so expensive, you could be helping them to book some great trips and then commission. I'm personalizing Planet and Intelli Travel to Aaron, specifically Aaron. So when he watches the video afterwards, he's watching something that personally relates to him because I made it personal with a quick call, asking some basic questions. You know, and if you're new to the business, this is how you can do that call yourself if you're brand new. Think of some questions. You know, how much time, how much time, uh, what, what, what do you like the most about travel? Where do you want to go to next? How much time a day do you have to work this business? How much would you need to be earning from this business to be really happy with it? That's it. And they say all these questions, they answer these questions. And you're like, okay, great, okay, well, well, what I want to do now is I want to get you, you know, the video to see how it could actually work for you. Now, those questions, anybody can ask them. Now, if they ask you a question, okay, tell me about the company, how long has it been going, you know, what's the tax revenue, da, 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 all these complex questions that you don't know the answer to, let's be honest. Well, okay, well, yeah, I just wanted to ask you those questions to see if it could be a good fit for you. I want you to see the video of the company first because it's a visual thing, you know, it's travel, and I want you to see it first. But afterwards, yeah, all the questions you have, write them down, I'll get them answered. I'll be honest and say, you know, okay, well, I'm still new, so I don't really know that question, but I'm working with somebody called Lucy. You know, she's one of the top income earners in the whole of the United Kingdom right now. She's making a lot of money. She's traveling around the world, and she's helped hundreds of people. So what I want to do, I, you know, I could, I could try and answer some of those questions, but I don't want to, like, you know, half answer them. So I'm going to, you know, get her to answer them so you can really get the best understanding so that when you hit the ground running, you know, you're going to have a smooth run to success because you're working with someone who knows a lot more than I do. And that's the beauty of the business. I don't need to know everything because I've got this lady here called Lucy who knows everything about the business. So that's, that's why it's a really fun business because anybody can do it. You don't have to be good at maths. You don't have to be smart. You don't have to have a good memory. You know, you don't have to be, you know, super confident. I'm working with this amazing lady called Lucy. She's going to be able to answer all those questions that you had. But yeah, so just wanted to find out you know, if you've got the time for this, you know, how much you could be making, what you like about travel. Watch this video and we'll speak to Lucy afterwards. You know, it's confidence. If they say, no, I want you to tell me about it. Bye. Bye. I'm telling you I'm going to get you connected with some very successful people, maybe even some millionaires, you know, and you want to just speak to me. And I just told you I don't know all the answers. And if I stutter, I'm not sure, then you're going to be judging me. Bye. We move on and find someone else. So I'm going to probably wrap up soon. I think we've been going for too long. I was supposed to go and get some tacos. And you guys are eating into my taco time. Care and love about you. I love you guys. And we're going to, you know, have the best team in network marketing history. We're going to travel the world, make a lot of money together. I'm really excited about where we're going. Convention, 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 convention. Um, it's the most important day in your diary as a network marketer convention. Let me open this window here. Beautiful sunset. Uh, let me let me put on put on some clothes. I'm gonna take you right outside. Find my find my trousers. Show you guys the view out here in um, in Ohio. Well, I'm in Ohio. I'm in um, in um, Houston, Texas. Let's take you guys outside and show you the view. It's not really nice, actually. This is a bit basic. Wow. Look at the sun. You guys, it's nighttime over there where you are. It's freaking bright over here. It's a downtown skyline over there. Somewhere over there. But um, let me get some more light in the room. It's... All right, guys, so let me finish off. Um, finish off, finish off. Hopefully you guys, anyone got some value? Give me a thumbs up or give a comment in the box if you guys got some value from this training. My laptop there. Ooh, wow, that's right. Lucy's put a thumbs up. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if I can get some. There we go. Right. It's too bright. All right, guys. So, um, Ashton has just told me no tickets left for convention. If there's no tickets left for convention, try change the flag to UK, USA. If you've been looking on UK, try US. If you've been looking on US, try UK. 
inbox me on Facebook if you can't get a ticket to convention. The last time I spoke to Donald Bradley four days ago, there was a thousand tickets left. I don't believe a thousand have been sold in four days, but it is getting to crunch time. So start thinking of getting that ticket first. Worry about flights later. <laughs> you know, if you're really hungry, you'll, you'll find a way to get there. Uh, 59 days to convention. It's the most important date. You know, and I'm not telling, being irresponsible and saying if you've got literally no money to go, you know, be responsible. Don't spend your last rent money to get to convention. Um, but it's very important, you know, if you can be there and if the excuse that you're not going there is small, think about what convention does. Honestly, take it from someone who's made the income um, and I've made long-term income. I haven't just made money and lost it. I've always made six figures for the last the longest time of four, maybe to five years. My previous opportunity when I was with Mr. Brady in another travel company, I was making six figures as well. Um, you know, um, it, convention is, is key. It's the reason why I first fell in, that's, maybe that's it. Why would the Costa brothers, me and my brothers, we fell head over heels in love with network marketing when Andre Sinclair uh, joined you know, our brotherhood you know, it was because of conventions. We went into conventions and we fell in love. So when you have someone, Lucy, who says, oh, they want to quit in the first two weeks, they haven't been to a convention. Anyone I know who's been to a convention is still in my business. Even if they're making money or not making money, they're going through problems or issues or not. It's because they came to a convention, they were sold out. Ricardo Grant Lee, you know, this guy bleeds planet marketing and that's why he's going to be a millionaire. You know, he's going to be the first millionaire in his family. Let's see if Ricardo's on the line. Um, not online right now. Um, he's going to be the first millionaire in his family because he bleeds planet marketing. You know, he's sold out. You know, he's not in planet marketing. Planet marketing is in him because he went to a convention and the rest was history. So getting to a convention is the thing that gives you the strength, the inner steroids to go through the ups and downs because there will be ups and downs. I have ups and downs because I've been to conventions where I get sold out to the business. And you know, some people are going to say, oh, it's like a cult brainwashing you. Yeah. We're brainwashing you into positivity, ambition, helping other people, making money, enjoying amazing product of travel. And there's nothing wrong with being brainwashed on those things where the opposite of those things is to be brainwashed on poverty, Donald Trump, Brexit, Boris Johnson, negativity, um, student loans, and all the other negative things that are going on. I hate my job. I hate my boss. I hate my life. Blah, blah, blah. All the other negative things that are going on, you can either be brainwashed on that or you can be brainwashed on positivity. And it's not brainwashing. It's you surround yourself with what you are going to be. Uh, uh, you know, if you surround yourself with successful, ambitious people, you become successful and ambitious. You surround yourself with negative naysayers, you become a negative naysayer. I just want to surround myself with people, 5,000 people at a convention who are all going towards success. And the people in the business who are working hard are going to become millionaires, and six-figure income earners, and five-figure income earners. So I want to surround myself with that rather than people at home Know, bashing every every other company calling them pyramid but they haven't got the money or the time to go to egypt to see the real pyramid and i'll just drink my tea and leave that right there so lucy says relationships equals retention 100 percent uh uh usha says can you show me an example of a business card that that markets you as a travel business owner rather than a travel agent great question um i mean let me look at my business card. I know what my business card says. Um, and I would recommend get the Planet Marketing business card. It's not too late. Even if you design it yourself, so long it looks just like that. At convention, for those of you who are going, Donald Brady likes to give away some money. He does prize giveaways. And last time, the biggest was $500 gave away, I think. $200 $500. So they're going to ask you for your business card. Not any business card your planet marketing business card to put in a pot and they shake it around and Andy Cawthon is going to call out, bring out a card and it's going to, you know, do a prize up. It's so funny. You're going to love it. If you come to convention, whether you win the money or not, Andy Cawthon is hilarious. He, he's going to say stuff like this. He's going to pull out a business card and say, if your name begins with D and ends with D and your name is David, and your second name is the Costa. You have not won it this time, <laughs> you know. So, um, so it's really, really fun. And there's a lot of money given out. But it has to be a planet business card. Now, on the back of my card, I've got something which is a bit more, you know, um, colourful, attractive. You know, work from home opportunities. 
you know, work from home on the beach, you know, on the back, on the front, you know, for convention and just because of the branding, you know, got the Planet Marketing card, which you can order from your back office. Um, it doesn't really say anything about a travel business owner. And you can put your, what, your, what you want yourself. You can say you're a travel business owner. You can say you're a travel agent, whichever one you want to do. If you're a travel agent, you obviously sit in any travel card. If you're a travel business owner, it's your Planet Marketing card. Um, me personally, I'll be honest, you know, I don't have a, a travel agent card. I have just a Planet Marketing card. Um, I do book travel, but my, my focus more is, you know, I'm a team building. I'm, I'm more of a network marketer than a travel agent, uh, just being transparent. Um, and I will not book travel for really strangers. I'll, if I book travel, it's going to be for people I know very well. So I don't need a business card to give to my mom, my mummy. If I give my mummy a business card, she will hit me. Um, so yeah, I build, I book travel for people I'm in a very close relationship with. Um, what's the first thing you say when you prospect, uh, Del from Dali? Uh, there's no, there's no, right, there's no right answer to that. Um, hi, hello. That's the first thing I say when I prospect. Hello, how are you? you know, talk, engage. Like I said, build rapport, go straight for the kill. Um, how? Uh, this is from Nathan Gentiles. How long would you say is reasonable time to build rapport with a prospect for a shared opportunity? If you're building rapport well, you know, you know, an hour of building rapport can be enough, really enough. And at some point, if you're really going back and forth, not chasing them, you're engaging and really engaging in their life and what they say, they're going to give you an opening where they talk about money, time, happiness, freedom, legacy, fun, travel. They're going to talk about something like that and then that's your opportunity to get in. The first time they mention travel, you might leave it and not jump on their head. You know, um, you know, like they just mentioned, yeah, you know, my family, we travel a lot. Um, yeah, oh, you travel a lot. Oh, oh, I've got a travel business. Oh, you've got, you've got to see this opportunity video. It's James Flaw. You know, don't get obsessive and as soon as someone mentions travel, you're just diving down their throat. You know, let them say travel and not, don't say nothing about it. You may come back to it. Oh, yeah, Frida, you know you said before, actually, you said you, you and your family travel a lot. Yeah, I might have something that can help you with that. Just because they mention travel doesn't mean you're on red alert. Oh, travel, that's the secret word. Oh, I've got a travel business for you. You know, if it's the right time, if it feels natural, great. If it doesn't, they're in the middle of talking about their family, their life. Let them finish. Come back to it later. Um, how long to build rapport? Uh, you don't need to build rapport for like weeks and weeks and weeks. Unless you're talking to somebody who's not ready right now. Just keep building rapport, keep building the relationship. Um, which I would say. So, Amanda is a killer in a good way. <laughs> Ricardo has dealt with compliance. Um, the key is to be everywhere and talkative. That's it. Go, Alison. Um, what personal development motivation books, podcast do you recommend? I'll answer that. Show us the view. Uh, it's not that nice. Um, what is a time frame you recommend from first speaking to someone about the business to them joining? The longer it's left, the more likely they lose interest. Great question. Yes, the longer it takes for them to first see the business, the, 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 the more they lose interest if you're just leaving them alone. But if you've got a reminder on your phone, like I just showed you, to be following up two times a week, getting them onto the weekly calls, getting them onto the daily calls, getting them onto some maybe some, some webinars and training webinars, you know, just showing them a few videos, how, in, how intelligent travel paid commissions, you know, different things to get them excited. If they said they like more of the travel side, show them some travel stuff. If they said they're looking for time, financial freedom, show them some testimonials from some of the people that have actually achieved it. Um, but the longer you leave it without saying nothing, yes, they're more likely to not join. Um, Lucy says, preach David, remind them of their why. And if they quit, they're back at square one. Yeah, 100%. What's the first thing you say when you're talking to a stranger about the business? Again, hi, my name's David. Um, I forgot to answer that one, Darlene. Um, who am I? What do I do? How can I help you? How can we stay in touch? Lucy says, love you, David. Thanks. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really hope you guys, you know, got a lot of value from this. Um, again, I hope I've recorded this. Yes, it's recorded. And uh, this is probably a two hour training. It's good. Um, you know, I'm trying to make up for lost time. I should have done a lot more trainings. There's going to be a lot more trainings from lots of different things. Can we get a recording of this training? Uh, yes, you can. All my nuggets I'm giving. I'm a boss. I know. It even hurts seeing people you know. We need a business council to why. That's it. Uh, we're so undersaturated. We're so lucky. Yes, we're very undersaturated. There's no one doing this business right now. 3,000 in the UK. Some other network marketing companies lose 3,000 people a day because they've got half a million people. So they lose 
three thousand people a day. We just have three thousand. So game game time, guys. You know, in the US, forty six thousand. We ain't started. Some people are going to be millionaires on this webinar. I'm just saying it right now. And it sounds cheesy until Chevy White became a millionaire in three years. And what I love about Chevy White the most, he's just such a normal, down to earth guy. You know, he's not like a crazy rock star. Like you know, he's got you know the best training or the best presenting or the best this, the best that. He's a down to earth, humble guy that anyone can relate to. And he is a millionaire. He makes $3,000 a day, you know? And you can be like, I can do that too. I can do that too. And that's why, you know, Shedrick to me is, you know, one of the best network marketers. He's got a system. The PS3, the system. Over and over and over and over and over again. The wrong people, the right people. 20 people in his organization has led to a team of over 10,000 people and a million, a million dollars a year. I love the sound of a launch call. Yes, darling, we need to do some more launch calls. David, please don't go to sleep. We are not ready. <laughs> I'm not tired. I'm helping you guys make some money. Cancel all plans. We demand David to keep sharing his unreal advice. Oh, thank you, Frida. Oh, Frida. I'm, I, I'm very bad with names. So if I call you the wrong name, don't take offense, please. Legit, he has got me, <laughs> he has, he has got me really wide and awake, feeling much more positive. Thank you, guys. And I appreciate this. And again, this just comes from me spending time with my mentor, you know, I need training. I need pouring into. I need motivation. That's why I'm here in Houston with Donald Birdie. That's my upline. You know, I'm, I'm blessed to have a legend as my upline to motivate me, train me, coach, develop me to be a better leader, a better person. And I'm very blessed. And I, it's a responsibility I have since Donald invested thousands, millions in the last five years. I've known him millions into not just me but my team. He's invested millions uh, from events to conventions to regionals to trips to yachts to everything you know to paying out ridiculous amounts of money if you invested millions into me i have a responsibility to invest back into my team and make sure that they have what they need he says i ain't sleeping david don't go nowhere <laughs> what time was that said well, that was said a long time ago it's time to sleep <laughs> uh, can you post a list of those questions um i'm not sure what the questions were yes um inbox me anyone anything i've said that you need more help on inbox me please thank you david this calls fire thank you abby i'm just reading the questions to see if there's any more was that what was the g in frog frog when you're building rapport with somebody f r o g talk about their family talk about the what they do for rec for recreation for fun uh their occupation what are their goals and where do you want where do you see yourself what do you want to achieve david keep talking please oh thank you guys you guys are making me blush I'm too dark um <laughs> keep talking don't stop uh we need to know the g david i get g yeah the g is for what are your goals um there's some good points so needed thank you guys david don't sleep <laughs> why you guys don't want me to sleep man you guys want me to have insomnia <laughs> insomnia i don't know that was another high level pitch uh, the whole group is going off all right guys i think it's just a lot of uh, admiration for my amazing self that was a bit arrogant <laughs> but yeah no, I really appreciate you guys thank you so much um, what your upline makes doesn't determine what you will make 100% we've got people on this webinar right now who've made more money than their uplines you know, um, you know and, it's, and it's beautiful I think I think Marcella might become a four star before me Marcella is moving like a like a rocket am I going to cry and get jealous she's in my team and I get to say to people who say oh where does the person at the top make all the money because you're stupid, that's why. <laughs> you know, for someone to join the business after me and make more money or hit a higher rank, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good. That is an amazing example that whoever works hardest, works the best, works, you know, the quickest or whatever, makes more money. That's it. And I don't have an ego problem. I know I'm a boss. Thank you, Lowe's. Um, couldn't see myself. <laughs> you know, I don't have an ego problem. That's another thing. For leaders, if you've got a big team, check your ego at the door. Um, one of the biggest killers in network marketing is an ego. Being able to listen to somebody, to take advice, take information. My skill set, if people want to know my secret, why David Acosta has made, um, you know, more money, you know, in network marketing in Europe than, you know, anybody else in Europe for the longest period of time, for you know, five odd years, six odd years since I've known Mr. Bradley, I've been making a six-figure income, and I've built $2 million teams, 
know, despite what anybody else might say, I'm the number one person, you know, in this business, you know, in most parts of the world. And as we do open up around the world, there's no one that's going to be able to keep compete and keep up with me. You know, I'm going to be in the top five income earners, you know, right behind Orlando Moore, Shevard White, Eileen Ross. And I'm building this business for the long term. I'm not looking at 2019, you know. Um, I'm not looking at, you know, people might, people might, and I was thinking of this the other day, people might say, well, you know, um, you've got one of your legs is in balance, it's too big, it's growing. I'm still going to be working with that leg because I didn't come to this business to be a four-star director. I came to be a nine-star director. None of my legs have reached the level of nine-star yet. So I'm still working on everything because I'm looking at the long-term plan. I'm not in competition with nobody. If the newest person who joins this business brings in 15,000 people and hits four-star in a day, clap, 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 clap. That's great because that's got nothing to do with me, my goals, my time frame. You know, and nobody's family who's making six figures or seven figures said, oh, well, you didn't do it first in Herbalife. There was someone else who did it first. No, they're like, oh, my days, mommy, daddy, thank you so much for working hard in Herbalife, Network Marketing Planet, you know, ACN, Herb, uh, Juice Plus, Forever Living, whatever. Thank you so much for working hard. You're making six, seven figures. We don't have to go to work. We can do this. We can live our dreams. We can go to any college, university. They're not going to look at the leaderboard and say, mommy, thank you for the 10,000 pounds, dollars a day you're giving me. But I looked on the leaderboard and you're not number one. Stay in your lane, focus on your race, be competitive, of course. But when you have an ego problem and you have an issue with somebody who's hit a higher rank, moved faster, made more money, you know, got a bigger team, done this, done that, it would just, network marketing will become a very sad, lonely place because it's very likely you'll never be number one in network marketing. I'm not competing with just planet marketers, I'm competing with the industry. I know I'm going to be a top income earner in the industry, not in planet marketing. I'm going to be up there with the Holton Bugs and Alex Morton's because I've got an engine. I'm going to keep working. I'm in my youth. I'm going to grind, you know, to the wheels fall off. So, you know, people look at the leaderboard. I don't look at the leaderboard. I look at when Planet Marketing gets on the list of the top 100 companies, top 50 companies, top five companies. Yeah, then we're talking. Now, that's the leaderboard I'm looking at. I'm thinking of the big picture. I'm not looking at 2019 money. I'm looking at, you know, um, the next five, 10, 20 years multiple, multiple millions of pounds and dollars in residual income. I'm looking at, you know, preparing foundations. I'm going to have a team in India. I'm going to have a team in Lithuania. I'm going to have a team in Germany. And then I'm going to have leaders in Brazil. You know, I'm looking at the big picture. I'm not looking at just right now. You know, so, um, yeah, what your upline makes doesn't determine what you will make. You know, keep going to stay focused on your goal. Some of you may have an upline who's more new than you. Then they don't know the industry as well as you. You've outranked them. You make more money than them. They were lucky enough to find you, but they maybe can't lead you. It doesn't mean you're disrespectful. It means you, you, know, you work closely with them with your upline upline. And your upline upline teaches both of you together. So you can both grow and develop. And that's totally fine. I was recruited first into travel in the previous opportunity with Don Bradley from someone who was only ever a rep. Never really even went bronze. They recruited me and only me. And I built a team of a thousand people underneath them. Does that mean I don't listen to them, respect them? I mean, they can't train me and coach me because I'm better. But I can be respectful. We can work together with our upline to learn the same, same time. So, um, yeah. How do you word what the 156 is for? Question, how, uh, from, question from Lucy. So, um, oh, so many more questions. Damn. Okay, sorry guys, I'm going to have to wrap up soon. 156 pounds just goes into two businesses, you know. Um, what, uh, the $19, $19 or the you know, 16 pounds goes towards Planet Marketing. And I heard this in the last event I was at. You know, I give Planet Marketing $20 or 16 pounds. Um, I give them access to my bank account. Every 30 days, they take $20 or 16 pounds from my bank account. But what they give me is access to their bank account. I give Planet Marketing access to my bank account and Planet Marketing gives me access to their bank account. Think about that. Planet Marketing have given me, David Costa access to the Planet Marketing bank account. That is why I make a six-figure income. More money in a month than I make in a year because Planet Marketing have given me access to their bank account because I gave them £16, 
So as much as they're taking this 16 pound, $19 every month from me, they've given me back what I've, what I deserve because of the work I've done. Very, very powerful. Um, Planet Marketing, what, what I paid 156 pounds for one part of it goes to the fact that I have marketing. I have leaders around the world, such as, you know, uh, Philip Rollins here in Houston, um, Andre Sinclair in Birmingham, you know, uh, Wendy in Manchester, you know, Elizabeth in Portsmouth, um, you know, uh, JP Watkins here in Dallas, you know, Donald Bradley in Atlanta, you know, Latroy Chin in Baltimore, you know, I can plug in qualified people all around the world and get professional presentations, you know, while I'm sleeping and they're going to look after my people because of leverage. I've paid for a business that gives me leverage. Marketing videos and app, the ability to partner with people around the world, different time zones, website that translates into different currencies and different languages where I can earn income in my sleep, residual income, have a willable business that if anything happened to me, multiple thousands of pounds and dollars will be paid to my family for life. You know, convention, the ability for us to be on the Sunborn York for prices that I wouldn't normally get because of planet marketing, my business marketing company for just $19 or 16 pounds, ridiculous. Intelli Travel, the ability for me to have a website where every second of the day in real time, Spirit Airlines, Virgin Airlines, BA, Royal Caribbean, Hilton, Marriott, all these major travel consortiums and travel companies are on my website in real time. People can book them when I'm sleeping. I can book them when I'm awake. I can earn commissions. I can work with the travel industry. We've got multiple licenses and suppliers. We've got travel agent training that you'll eat your heart out that you would normally pay thousands of pounds to do in college or university ability to be trained and mentored by people like James Fry and his team to go to fam trips, the ability to be at networking events in the travel industry, to, to go to travel seminars, you know, the marketing, you know, uh, the updates, you know, uh, all of this and so much more certificates and pins and dream trips and, and conventions and us being the biggest group of home based travel agents in the country, all of that for 146 pounds. Um, bargain mate. Absolute bargain. Primark socks. Payless socks. Primark socks. That is what we have here. And if anybody doesn't understand why we pay that money or they think it's too expensive, you haven't explained what we have correctly. If they say, oh, why does it cost £156? Unless they're super broken, broken up here as well as in the wallet, you may need to go back again and explain exactly what we pay for. When you explain the whole thing on both sides of the business, then you know they should say, "Wow, you get all of that." Did I mention millionaire mentorship? I didn't. I didn't say Donald Bradley is gonna call you Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday. Um, I didn't mention that Donald Bradley. Darlene, stop laughing at me, please. Um, I didn't mention you're gonna get millionaire mentorship from Donald Chadwick White and other six million income earners pretty much every single day of the week. That alone to be mentored in business from someone who's doing a similar or the same business as you should cost you an arm and a leg. Think about getting, um, think about getting Les Brown to mentor you, to call you, or for you to be, have access to Eric Worre's group and they're gonna give you training every single day. You know, you pay for those groups, you pay for those memberships, you pay for those licenses and sus subscriptions, but we get it in Planet for free from people who are qualified, you've seen them with your own eyes, you can touch them, you see them every week, every convention, every other, other, other week, you know, millionaires and six-week income earners, you can touch them, you've got them on your Facebook, you can inbox them, they're gonna reply, and they're talking about a business that you actually have the same business of. Donald Bradley's back office looks the same as Darlene's. Donald Bradley's back office is the same as Alan's. Vilma Polinaire has got exactly the same back office of Shedrick White, right? And these people are gonna be mentoring us weekly, daily, secondly, hourly, you know, so the money we pay, it's a bargain, absolute bargain. Um, that jumper is, what is that, sorry. absolute legend, <laughs> thank you guys. All right, guys, I'm going to probably wrap up soon, I don't want it to be too long. More of these, please. Yes, Oliver, definitely going to be doing a lot more. I really enjoy doing these trainings, you know, this is me, my element, you know, I love training, you know, I love you know, entertaining, making it fun. Because, you know, I'm going to see you guys in Orlando. We're going to have fun. You know, some of us are going to pop over to Disney. You know, let's go to Universal Studios. Let's book out mansions with pool parties. And let's drink Capri Sun. And, you know, have parties. And I see Lucy's already partying right there with her Capri Sun slash wine. Alcoholic. Uh, <laughs> you know, so think about right now, guys, we've got 138 people going to convention. 138. That's an army. 
It's an army, mate, but I think we can get to 200. There's a thousand tickets left, roughly. Let's push, guys. The people on your team that need this, that know they've got the time, they can afford this, get them to convention. Man, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be absolutely amazing, guys. You don't want to miss it. And if you decide to not be there, you're going to see it on Facebook. Man, you're going to see it on Facebook. And I've, and I've experienced that before. People go to a convention and me watch on Facebook. It's not the same. It's not the same. If your Wi-Fi connection is not good, you're going to be pissed. Um, <laughs> uh, credit card, what is that for? I'm not sure. Credit card. Steal the money if you need to. Uh, all right, guys, I think there's no more questions. Uh, all right, cool. People pay 80K for training leadership. Yes, they do. So, guys, thank you so much for jumping on. Um, it's David Acosta, a.k.a. Uh, Mr. Go Travel, three-star director with Planet Marketing, six-figure income owner, number one trainer in Europe, <laughs> number one in Europe in everything. Um, <laughs> guys, you know, just, you know, where just, just literally... Um, wear my heart on my sleeve in this business and just, you know, um, I don't have an ego problem. You know, I'm happy for everybody to win. People in this team, people outside this team, because I know where I'm going to be. And I know for the people following our leadership, because my leadership leads up to Mr. Bradley. And if you follow my leadership, you'll follow Mr. Bradley's leadership. And he's not making quick money. He's not making online money. He's not making offline money. He's making millions. And he has been for the last 10 years. So I'm following long-term success. Donald Bradley is a legend of network marketing, but he's a living legend. And more importantly than a living legend, he's a living, living room legend. Donald Bradley, who's a multimillionaire, you know, who just bought a new property, you know, neighbors with Steve Harvey, um, a house which is bigger than this hotel I'm staying in, literally, you know, phenomenal guy. He's really stretching and flexing his muscle and really, he's at his element. This is the best I've seen Mr. Bradley and it's amazing for me to watch him living his dreams in his own company. I'm following him because for the last 10 years, he's made millions of dollars. Now, who can put their hand up to say they've made a million in network marketing? None of us. So don't follow me. Follow Mr. Bradley. And I'm following Mr. Bradley, so you can follow me. You know, um, and we're going to laugh all the way to the bank. And we're going to help so many people along the way. But most importantly, we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. Convention is not work. Think about being in Orlando to learn about your business and think about not being there and being at work. You know, where would you really want to be? At a dinner table with, 5,000 other planet marketing reps eating steak or if you're a vegan steak, I don't know what vegans eat, um, you know, they're having an amazing time in Disney, Universal Studios, you know, you know, in hotel, in your hotel room with, you know, hundreds of your business partners doing breakout sessions and, you know, just, just having a great time in one of the best Disney properties in the world. You know, it's going to be fun, guys. You know, and this is our business. This is what we do. And we're going to do it around the world on yachts, on cruises, on boats, in resorts, from Vegas to, Th to Thailand, to Bali, to Bromley. You know, we're going to have a fun time doing it. Um, you are at the beginning of a fantastic company. You're at the beginning of a legacy company. And we're just getting started. And you guys, you know, should feel, feel very proud. Don't let someone knock your confidence, your happiness in this business. If somebody really needs to quit around you, let them quit. Wish them the best, you know, and stay focused. Don't become a, uh, uh, there's people that quit this business who are the top six, uh, number six income owner quit this business, you know, um, for whatever reason. Now he has to explain that reason to his wife and his children. When they see that number six right now in our business is making equivalent to $70,000 a month, you got, to, you got to talk to your family about why you quit. And there's people who walked away from this and the people that walked away are not doing better they're all doing worse. Fact. Don't be the person who loses this business. Whatever you're going through, I, your upline, or somebody else has gone through it, and they can help you get out of it. If you ask questions, if you call, text, and call, text again if you need to, and then call, text again if you need to. It's worth it. If I owed you a billion pounds, or even 50 grand, and you text me, call me to get the money back, and I didn't pick up, you would not say, oh, David's busy, and just leave me with that 50 grand. You would find a way to get my attention. And if your business means enough to you, get the attention of your upline, get the attention of somebody who cares about you, who wants to help you, and let's run. Love you guys. See you guys soon. Thank you, Thanks, David. David. No problem, guys. Appreciate you guys. Good night. Love you. See you guys. See you, darling.